Yeah, have it. Listen, nah. listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen to what I'm telling you. And this You can't put that. My <laughs> listen, my level is no disrespect yeah. to homeboy. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Don't mention us in the same category. We different levels. My levels, he learned from me. You understand? I don't know, but he learned from he watched my shit and said, this is what I gotta do. Right. We not in the same category. You understand? Like mm. when niggas say he that, I'm this. like, he like, how he's like, he's like, like, like how's he? What is he gonna do with me? Mm. That's a fact. That's, you can say, you can look. I look right next. What would he do with me? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 start no, listen, no, no, no. no. I, this listen, is, is I'm being real with you. Is, is name, name me some of his records. That moved Jesus you. Jesus Christ. That moved you. Name me some of his records. Energy. What is happening here? No, no, no. I'm just being no. I'm just being Listen. This is hot for trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard? Told Jim I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest I solidify my spot with gorillas Now I'm rock with you niggas Alright, we back My Expert Opinion, episode 80 uh, Shout out to Haiti uh, we're going to do it big like gravy. <laughs> uh, you know, I got the hook like Swaley. You know, you keep this going, but whatever. Um, shout out to the sponsors. Shout out to the new watchers. Shout out to everybody who subscribed. Hit that like, hit that share. Let everybody know you in here. Don't cost you no paper unless you's a mother hater, okay? Um, shout out to King Shaven. King Shaven Company. You beard gang, bro. I got to give you one of these. Uh, we got the King Seduction. Go to kingshavenproducts.com. Pick up the King Sh King's Seduction and the King's Elixir. The King's Elixir is great for when, like, you're chilling, you know what I mean? But the, the Seduction, bro, I'm telling you, like, you get in the elevator with a chick, you're getting off with her number. You heard? Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you that one, bro. You single? No, no, no. But ah, I take that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say you, bro. Bro. I can't do that. I got to you for like, <laughs> I might like, save my relationship. I'm nah, like, this might need that. You have to keep that 100 right there. You have to keep Anybody that 100. Anybody wants to keep it a buck. He gonna give you an industry <laughs> answer or a real answer. I'm not gonna give you the Are you King industry single or you? <laughs> com, I'm not gonna play those promo games. Promo code, Hoffa Gang. There was no wins with that one. Yeah, now for the documentary, I'm not playing those games, man. Now, I got, I got, a, I got all stars in the building. I got Mr. Mecca. You know what I mean? Editor of the source. Y'all gonna have to clap again though, cause he's A and R Buster's last project. Woo! One of the best projects Buster has ever put out. Um, I got my man Kwame, hip hop movie. He was one of the originators of the DVD game. Got my man Hard Body in the building. NYB, NYB. No, you gotta show him. You gotta show him, bro. You gotta show him. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got my man Five Yo Team Homie in the building. It's, it's Harlem, man. We gonna run into these guys all the time. You know what I mean? And we got Amir. This is Pete Rock's artist. He's sitting in today. He's gonna tell us some things about Ancestry.com. Because <laughs> we all curious. We all curious. And we got one of the guys who um who stamped in hip hop history, mm -hmm. whatever the history of Harlem, the history of Dipset. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is the producer who helped cultivate that sound. We got arsonist from the Heat. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, how's mm. everybody been doing? Good. <laughs> how's your week? So my week is man. terrible, man, but I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we was terrible? Of Are course it was. So what happened? Come on, come on. <laughs> First question, huh? You want to jump around the room, talk to nah, them? Nah, we, we got to get to it. Yo, look, don't, don't feel no way because I sat in this chair Think telling everybody it was going to go one way. And 
I was surprised. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I feel a way. Mm -hmm. I feel a way because I know that we had the firepower to make it really competitive. Right. right into it, right? You into understand? It. Right. I'm not going to say we was going to win, we was going to smoke them. We had the firepower to really make it competitive. Right. But I saw like a, I saw a lack of preparation. Mm -hmm. That's what made me, you understand? That's what mm -hmm. made me feel a way because I know all of those dudes on stage, Jim, Joels, and Cam, are super talented dudes mm -hmm. right. with great records. Right. But the sound quality didn't sound right. Mm -hmm. the, the, and this is all my opinion. Right. The DJ wasn't in sync with Dipset. Mm. You know what I mean? Like who was the, the DJ by the by the way? I, I don't. I don't even want to speak. I don't know. Yeah. He's Cam's. Yeah. He's Cam's DJ. Okay. But the Locks DJ. This motherfucker was. Yeah, this was motherfucker was in a zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he, he heard what they were saying on the, on the stage and adjusted immediately. Yeah, immediately. immediately. You understand? Immediately. So immediately. I'm sitting in the crowd like. And if you hear Fat Joe tell the story, yeah, he, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. he definitely said like I had a tear in my eye and shit right. like that. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Joe, man. Shout out to Joe. So shout out to Joe. Joe yeah. Front actually got in with Joe. Right. Was I about to cry? No. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it probably looked that way to Joe because I was tight. I'm sitting there like, how is this happening? Yeah. This is for all the marbles. Like, yo, what's happening? I was confused mm. for like the first. Honestly, when I'm ready got played first, I was confused. I'm like, why this record first? Like, this is one of those records that you hold off on and you start with a different mood. Start with, like, I built this city. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Like, a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you really want to get fly, start with New York City, because you in the garden. Welcome start to New York Set it off and mm. welcome to New York City. I, I did Coming feel like, like, and leave like the strong. big guns, like, they were saving them. And yeah, they, yeah. And I'm just feeling this way because. These are like my brothers, you understand? Yeah, like right. we came up together, this is 15 years plus. Yeah. So I took it extra, you know what I mean? Because yeah. of that reason. Right. So when I say certain things, people can't look at me like, yo, he just, he, he just sour because they lost. Nah, it ain't that. Right. I know what was supposed to happen. Because right. mm -hmm. a lot of those records were records you produced. And a lot of records were left wow. off. Mm. The records yeah, yeah. I that produced, was a, that was a lot. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. records I produced was ringing off the building. Right. Dipset Anthem had the building shaking yeah, in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready, even though it went first, had the building shaking in now, there. I told people, I was like, yo, there's no response for the anthem. At all. There's none. And quiet is kept. People mm. might hate me for saying this, but I'm going to keep it real. And again, they might hate me for saying this. I'm going to say it twice. <laughs> it's all good. It had the building shaking more than the Benjamins. Say whatever you want. Oh. Say whatever you want. You know what? And I'm standing like this. Here's the fucking thing. Hold on. Here's the fucking thing. Hold on. Here's the fucking thing. Let me say it. It did. Was you in the building? You wasn't in the building? That's the thing. The building was in the building. The building was inside was different. That's what Fat Joe was saying when I was in the building. I'm in the building. When? You was there? I was there. When did you play Dipset Anthem? You was there too. I was there. Am I lying to you? No, you're not. You're not. I'm sure that building was shaking. What you mean that? What you mean that? Where I was at? No, no, no. They, no, they rocked to the band. What I'm saying is, it was like, okay. But the home, it was like the home looked a little bit different. The home looked a little different. It was different. On the cell phone, it looked a little different. But from there, I'm sure it was super different. I'm telling you, this shit was different in there. I told them whatever that drive. There's no answer to that. And let's put it in perspective. At that point, they were losing bad, right? So for that song to get that reaction at that moment shows you the power of that song. Right. Yeah. People right. almost forgot they was losing that bad at that point. Like, oh shit, this shit is crazy. You understand? Right. Yeah. Right. So again, I take some sort of, at least a minor win in that for yeah, myself. Minor, yeah. yeah, you gotta yeah. take a lot you of wins. You feel good about that. Yeah, at least. You gotta take a lot of wins. You gotta know about that. That, that record was made in the basement in the Bronx. You understand? Wow. So to right. see it rock in Madison Square wow. Garden is that a counts. personal win. For that wow. was made in my mother's Super basement. While she's upstairs Super cooking food, win. nigga, I'm making that. <laughs> and now it's getting played in Madison Square. That's fact. Shout out to the yeah. basement. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Everybody who knows who's been in that court, been in that basement. Yeah, like a lot of niggas been in that. But that basement is like on the low, like. Like a like a legendary basement. Yeah. Hits was made out of that basement. I'm ready, dipset anthem. Me and Gucci recorded Woo! our song for his album in that basement. Wow. Cam been to that ba like that basement Woo! is legendary. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, we was rocking in Madison Square. So I took a little hard. win from that. that was yeah. Hard. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's all not a little win. Yeah, no, I'm just talking about amongst all the other bullshit. I, I, I get where you're coming from, I, but I that... take a little minor win from that. Right. Right. But but uh, some people would argue. 
it was chemistry. Yeah, I agree with that. That something I agree with was that. off. With I'm not sure that's an argument. Of course, yeah, I agree I, with I that. I don't even know if you can debate that. Mm. Mm. Like, you, you got the locks who, not for nothing, what, 15 plus years, 20 years, right. rocking together, no arguments, no outside beefs, you never heard about nothing, no internet talk, no, no shade to each other. It was just a little minor situation, but it wasn't that. But can you even really substantiate it? Like, it's not written down. You no. had to know. If you know, you know. Yeah. But no, no, no. J, the J Hood situation. Was yeah, but pretty, that even that yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Even, even that was like, like the, they were together on beefing that. with a cousin. You know right. what I mean? Like even that didn't look as crazy as some of the things we've seen from other folks. They look like a unit at of all course. times. Right. At all times, no Hell matter yeah. what's like Hell from yeah. the stage, on stage, off stage, and it all translated in that performance. Think think about it like this: their their standings never changed, right? Uh -huh. Jada was always the main dude. Then it, you know what I mean. It might have been it might have been Styles, and it might have been Chic, right? And they had no problem with yeah, that. Yeah, with Dipset, you had times where Cannon was running away with it. Then now yeah. Jim got his momentum. Yeah, He's yeah. up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So things was shifting around Jewel's, over the years. Jewel's so got a moment. Right. Right. Yeah. So if I think I'm the man, but he 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 been up for the last four or five years, it's kind of like, wow. You understand? Like yeah. who's who's who now? Who's right. the general now? Who's the second in charge? Who's? Mm. And I'm not saying that's what it is, but. That could be it, because different success stories came out of Cam, Joel's, and Jim at different points. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it just it depends, man. It looks like you the think... difference between a crew and a group to me. Like there's a crew, y'all hang it, together, y'all uh, tight. This is what it looked like. And there's a group and groups. It, yeah, it looked like it looked go, like yeah. it looked like niggas that was trying to really get their relationship all the way together, as opposed to niggas who've wow. been chilling together strong for 25 years straight. Mm. And had that preparation. Right. That and, and let's not get this yeah, twisted because the preparation I don't want, I, was like over the top. Right. I don't want people to take it out of context. With, it's like I still believe they're brothers and they love each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but fact. it's like it's to me, it's almost like growing pains. Like yeah. they're, they're switching. Like Joel's is Joel's was a, a was a was a kid when he joined Dipset. You know what right. I'm saying? Now he's a full grown adult with with kids and a wife, and so a lot of things changed. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So people probably want to get. Treated different or put put in a different light or whatever the case is. You grow up, right? right. So you know, at the battle, I'm sure one person was probably running the show. I'm sure Cam was running the show because diplomats is Cam's at the end of the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to the locks, they probably all was throwing input in. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's try mm -hmm. this. Let's try that. And I think that kind of showed on stage. It absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't stage. know yeah, because Jada Kiss. Was pretty much running the show. Bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, he, no, he wrote you the DJ was running the show. But that's yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah. that's 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 a, a part that's of the preparation. But, but, that's a part of the preparation. But being a battle rapper, yeah, I know how important it is to push narratives. Mm. Right, right, right. And Kiss he was did that, a he battle did that against Fab that too. Mm. Yeah, he pushed exactly. the narrative against Fab too. Exactly. And I forgot well, that. That was the one well. thing that I forgot yes. when I, when I was making predictions for this because. Kiss will talk you out of the win. Yeah. You know what I mean? mean? Like, percent. Percent. that's what he was doing. I don't know the word. But what? Yeah. He's pointing yeah. out all the things. To make, it, was it, was it. it was real systematic. It was, it was, exactly. it was real systematic. Exactly. And, and if you notice, like, every time, like, something was said to them, like, Sheik, they tried to call out Sheik, immediately it was about the four, four and the DJ seconds was later. later. Reservoir dogs. Right. Yeah. Right into right. it. Right. But tell me if I'm wrong. If there's any rapper in the industry that could have. Out did kiss at his own talking game. It should have been Cam. Yeah. That's how I Facts. looked at it. No, I'm, Cam is one of the wittiest rappers Cam I've is, ever met. Yeah. I feel like he caught on late when he was like, "Yo, I see what you're doing. Yeah, you're trying to make this some freestyle yeah. shit. <laughs> so we got no hits. Like, <laughs> like, I told Cam, fight back, fight back, fight back. But if you really think about it, I end up doing some light research, right? I went into the YouTube and I looked up a locks live set. Right. Wow. Only thing they did was take building blocks out of their set they've been doing the last 20 years, the back-to-back, -back, the performative part of it, the right. execution. If you, they check the boxes of, and they check the boxes of one thing that people overlook the whole night, hip hop. Yeah. It wasn't about niggas That's came real. out there trying to swag rap. Yup. Right. And some niggas came out there to rap rap. Yup. Right. And then when you put that on the stage and, and you put it in the action for a performative side of it, you you start to get the difference between a crew and a group. Yup. Yes. And execution. Which is the difference between a crew and a group? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. 30 days in the hole together. Yeah, that's bro. Right. 30 days in the hole. 30 days in the hole. They tried that two days in. Like, yeah. No, it, it was no. more focused. It was more focused on aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Three solo, three yeah. solo performers versus a group. Mm -hmm. 
yes. you're always going to get washed. It's yes. never, never going to end me, well for I'm you. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I don't know if people microanalyze this shit, but I'm going to tell you where it started, and yeah. you can go back and watch it. Mm -hmm. It started because Michael Buffer forgot to introduce Cam. That's um, why Cam that's didn't come out. Is in that my why opinion. he was walking back? I heard he was trying that, to leave. In my opinion. Yeah. So Cam's mood was already off. Mm. That fucked the whole battle up in mm. my head. Right. Because you can see when Cam came out, he came out like, I don't even want to be here. You think Kiss paid him to do that? Who, Michael Buffer? <laughs> <Hull? laughs> I heard he got like a million dollars to say, to say that uh, thing. Let's you say, get me. Yeah, let's get me. I heard he got like a million dollars and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they'll flag? You can't even say it. Say no, it, it belongs oh, to him. Oh, just make sure you blur it out. Yeah, you know? that, that thing he be saying. Yo, 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 just keep blurring out. No, no, see that right no. No. Just keep blur blurring it out. <laughs> oh, you can't even say it. Yeah. 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 Yo, he got that, that He got that copywritten, bro. He's the only person on wow. earth who... Smart and his brother, yeah. his brother's in the UFC, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he locked up his phrase. It's uh, time. Like, that's his His brother might be popping more than him now. Because UFC is popping bigger than boxing. Yeah. Well, at least That's another thing, man. I don't even like to hear that because I'm a big boxing fan. When oh. I hear that, I feel like... Oh, you should, you should sit in, in in the next episode then. Well, who's on there? Kid Chocolate. Yeah, oh, that's Kid what's Chocolate. up. Yeah. Salute. Gonna, that's going to be a deep one. Absolutely. Right, but let's not take nothing away from the set. Yeah. Um, I feel like this was a legendary moment in hip-hop. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Streets one. Hip-hop. Word. And New I York, want people to remember like, who Dipset still is. Right. Like, granted, what happened happened. St they st we still dip set. It's still dip set. Right. They, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait. They performed wait. a lot of bangers on King. Can there be they, a rematch? Because no. that's no. eventually going to happen, I think, in time. Nah. I think in time. I'm, I'm not, not right now. How, how, how do you do that? Uh, you're not interested? Of <laughs> 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 So, Austin, they, 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 you, you can quarterback it? I'm going to get to that. Because you said nobody beating you if you pick 10. ten a million percent. We gonna get to that. We gonna especially, get to that. Especially what I saw in the garden yeah. with the shit that I got. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Not nobody beating me. Come on, ten. I can there be a rematch? Because now it's a tour, the dip with uh, Dipset, the Locks, and State Property. What is that gonna be like? Interesting. All caps. Yeah, that's gonna Fun be dope. Because yeah. now I think because yeah, of be what dope. happened, I think Dipset is gonna settle down and say, yo. Let's get right for this tour. Let's, lock it Let's get yeah, some yeah. rehearsal dates. Let's get it together. Let's exactly. get right for this tour because how much dates is it? It's like, what, 10 dates? Something like that? I thought they said 30. Yeah. Like, no, 30? Like 30. No, 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 it's not that many. It wasn't many. more it's, than 10. It yeah, wasn't, it's okay, like 10 10? dates, something okay. like that. It wasn't more than 10. But to me, after what happened at the Garden, you have to make it up to your fans and really pay I'm special attention to yeah, what's go going in. on in this tour. I'm, I'm not, not going to let y'all know that I have psychic powers. But I got psychic powers, bro. And rematch, I feel you like there's going to be a chant for rematch throughout this Listen, tour. Listen, if there is a rematch, I'm saying it here first, I better be the DJ for that. Mm. And we going to okay, promise you okay. if there's a rematch and I'm the DJ, it's this doesn't, I guarantee Listen, you this doesn't happen. I mm. promise you. I say this, and I am from 914, and this is my brother. You know, he know what it is. I'm just saying, I don't know if a rematch is going to play out the same way. Yeah. But I can I said it to him earlier on the phone. I'm like, bro, if sequencing of those records was important, timing. Sound quality. Sound quality. Because you, you oh, rapping over vocals. And right. even I was talking to when I'm just, like rapping over the vocals is is it's distortion in a, in an environment that big. Like mm -hmm. and right. you heard Cam's what he say? He said, This ain't SOBs, this is this Who's is that Jada? It's the garden. It's the garden. Yeah. Yeah, he said it was the garden, right? So yeah, exactly. So if it's a garden, you shouldn't be rapping over. How important is TV that? TV tracks would have been important. TV tracks would have been important. Because I remember when things started to change, and I don't want to single anybody out in particular, but there were some groups that emerged. They became very popular. And if you went to one of their shows, they were rapping over the vocals. Yeah. And after a while, it, a rap hip hop shows or rap shows became. Somebody smoking a blunt, rapping mm. over the and vocals, and ad-libbing the vo yeah. their that songs. Was strong, yeah. Right. Mm. How important is, like, is it? It's, 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 it's essential. It separates the boys from the men. It's essential. I don't. I don't care. Listen. Yeah, I agree. Your standards Word. are supposed to maintain in spite of the times. Not supposed to switch with them. Word. Yep. And there's a okay. there's a there's a quality control level yeah. that's supposed to be maintained. I like that. I like right. that. If you like jumping that. out on stage and you doing karaoke, first of all, you're shitting on your fans. Your fans should feel offended. 
Mm. Every fan in the building should feel offended that this is what you think of them. I'm not even. I'm gonna give you something that you can get in your living room. Forget the fact that you paid to be here. Right. I'm just gonna do something that I, you could have literally done yourself in your living room, and I'm just gonna smoke while you're doing. I'm just gonna I, drink. I, while I you're partially doing. agree. I partially. I, I, I think agree. it's. So, I, so what's the what's the yeah, other side? I'd love to hear this. What I'm saying is, I feel like when we go to shows, we pay to see the that artist and their energy, right? Right. That that they bring to the stage. Right. If these artists are giving the same energy on the record and running around the stage and really giving you the bang for your buck, then I'm not as mad. But if now, like what you said, you smoking a blunt in one hand and you got a mic and a drink in the other hand and your vocals are playing in the background, that's disrespect. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you just got the vocals as a bed, but you really performing everything, you use it as backup, I get it. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't, I can't. For me, that's too slippery of a slope. TV like track? You're, you're ask, a TV track is different, but don't think, building, listen, some listen. Of the building blocks of uh, hip hop. And you can't, MC and, and the further yeah. away you go from it, the worse everything turns into. Like, when we was working on, when we was working on ELE 2, Buster don't do no, none of that. Like, of are you kidding? Not. He's a, he's yeah, a, yeah. but he's known as a performer before. Yeah. That's what he's known as. Why that. wouldn't, why wouldn't that be the bar? Yeah, yeah. Don't, the standard don't, bar. don't oh, aim to yeah. come in under it. Well, don't say, yeah. well, he's so dope. I'll never be that. Mm. Let me just do my thing. No, why is your thing automatically 50% mm. less than the best? Why are you, why are you wow. here? Why are you here to be minimal? Mm. How did that, how did that become okay with everybody? I think I know when. No. Jesus. Now look, <laughs> y'all ready for this? Jesus. Auto tune. Nah, nah, bro. Yeah. They couldn't do but, that live. But but you know what? Yeah. There were certain yeah. parts yeah. of the show that they were they, they were going hard though. They were they were right. they were right. right. They had the TV track right. playing. Oh, rappers they had the TV track playing. Oh, you, you know why? Right, because a lot of dudes because they can't do the auto tune shit on stage. Yeah. They don't have the effects. Yeah. They, they the leave the vocals in the background. He's right. That's really yeah. where it started for shows. Yeah. That's and it started, started and sure. everybody just started doing their own yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's knock it too. off. Like, okay, cool. That's what you've been doing. Wow, that was. That was <laughs> you got that on camera. That shit was viral. You put it. That didn't give me a slow mo. Anyway, that, that was your Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. You got to do that in slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, use chopsticks, mo. <laughs> right? <laughs> Bonus points. I get the chopsticks. I mean, I can understand. It's, it's slowly, it, it's slowly created. I, I guess deterioration of live live performance, yeah. right. and that was an excellent point. I, I, but I never thought now this is an example of how MCing actually impacted the real live performance. The MCs yeah. actually victed mm -hmm. in the end. Like right. the MCs won because right. it's just you know. And I'm not mad at it. The vocals were clear when they were when they were like supporting each other. When they say "fuck you" in the beginning, you yeah. stand it super clear. It's right, resonating. Right. Yeah. They spitting their lyrics. They ad libbing each other. They rest on, to they rest on the yeah. Yeah, 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 but yeah. but not just that. A mumble rapper can't rap on stage. You can't have the same cadence that you have when you're like. Is there such a thing an anymore? Inch. Is that really a thing still? What there thing? are rappers. Are there, are there mumble rappers still? Like, are we still calling certain right. people mumble mm. rappers? If, if you talk, if we're talking in, in in a sense of of how you deliver it, there's some people who record at right, such nah. a low tone. I just mean like it's taking over the game so stage. much. Do we st still call mumble rap mumble rap, even though it's the predominant? Form of rap now? That doesn't change. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't change, change the, title. The, the title of it. Is what they're doing. It is. It is in a way. Yo, there's a song that my, my son has been singing out of Baltimore, and I've heard this thing like four or five times, and I don't know any of the words, bro. It's a sound of stupid. It's ever through that. And music, I, don't, I don't know music what it is, is bro. like my opinion. Music isn't about words anymore. It's about a feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think it's it's going into a vibe. No, that's that's what we pay for. Now, I'm not saying it's always that's, that's been like back in the day when you bought a CD, you bought a physical CD, you took it home, you read the inserts, you had something that you paid for. Right. Now you download a project, you have nothing. Mm. You just have a ten dollar bill tangible. on your account. Right. Mm. Tangible. You understand? It, it, it's, like, not, it's, not it's not tangible. Just, so what does that tell us? We buying feelings. Collectible. We're mm. buying feelings. We're not buying objects. But cheap mm. feelings. No, no, hold, hold Depends on, on what you buy. Here's 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 my response to that. And I, right. I hear exactly where you're coming from. But yeah. here's my pushback on that. Yeah. The era that most of us cut our teeth in, the one where we developed our standards, mm -hmm. we didn't have to have one or the other. Jay-Z could translate a feeling to me, but his words painted the picture. Mm. I, didn't have to, I didn't have to vibe strictly with 
the sound of it. When Jay painted the picture of walking into a spot being a drug dealer who's super stressed out and everybody else got to stay away from him, when Cam was talking his, when Big L was talking his, those gave me feelings. I got the perfect those, those response for you. Feelings. I got the mm. perfect response for you. And rest in peace to Biz Marquis. Biz mm. Marquis was a feeling. He might have sang off nah. key. He, he was a feeling. Of Super course. Nah. He was a vibe. But Biz no, Marquis wasn't giving you a message. The, oh, my, no, no, that's not true. That's what? not true. Nah, he, he was a feeling, but he had a message. No, 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 no. He was a feeling, though. It wasn't Super like, feeling. No, his J message is a heavy okay, feeling. Jay-Z was message teaching you lessons through his was records. All the same wrong, thing right, was right, right, right. right. Biz Marquis was, I want to have a good time. Let me throw on a Biz Marquis record. Yeah, it yeah. felt good. It felt right. good. It made you feel like you felt good. Yeah, yeah. Right. You, good. you didn't study his words and say, he said yeah. this, he means this. It was just a vibe. So I, I, I disagree. Because... Yeah. Everybody in here can sing "Just a Friend" word for word. No, he was painting the picture. No, you and can we was sing it. A good time. You can sing it, but we didn't look at Biz and say like, "Yo, this is, this is the poster child of, an, of what an he, artist should he, be." He's saying it didn't, it didn't resonate with it, it as this is what he stands for. No, I I disagree. Jay Z definitely. Wow. I disagree. Like, how do you think? <laughs> how do you think real singers looked at Biz when he made that song? Oh no 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 no! Right. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Yeah, he was his title was the Clown Prince of Hip Hop for right. a reason. Yeah. Right. So his feeling and his message were all encompassed in what he did. It right. was all jokes. It wasn't supposed to be the Jay Z message. This is what I stand for. Right. Biz stood for having a good time, no. like you said. Right. right. His lyrics translated that. I got the feeling when he stood up on the on the com on a piano that we knew he couldn't play. Right. Screaming at the top of the <laughs> song. No, of course. But, but that was that's the, that, that's the right. Yeah. That, that was the yeah, yeah, yeah. right. What do we do? What do we do with that? We messed the words up. You, you got yeah, a right. hand we yeah. what? You know, we had yeah. fun with, but that was Miz. Because yeah. of the feeling it gave us. But we didn't put Miz in the same category as Kane. But yeah. Kane gave you feelings too. But when but he said no, ain't no he, he no, no, smooth operator. That's not a vibe? Mm. Of course it you is. You don't feel like you can bone any but, woman on earth when that song comes <laughs> on and you, because I'm so yeah. smooth. You don't, you don't feel like that? Y'all got to agree in place, though. It's really the vibe. Sometimes the lyrics right. helps the vibe, and sometimes of it's course. more the vibe. But all he's saying is that more of his personality and the vibe that he got is leaning over to the vibe side, and, and my, my, above my, the lyrical side. And, and right. I, while, I, while I get that, my point is yeah. we've... That, the era that I'm talking about, yeah. where the standards were, we never had to decide one or the other. We got both. No, but what would we it, didn't have to make no choices. No, but what would it? You know, we, it's we got of, everything we wanted. We got of, lyrics and we got vibe. We didn't. Have, our entertainers were so well rounded. We never had to say, well. He can't rap, but it's a vibe. Nobody no, had to say listen, that. No, no, no you he did rapped, sometimes. He you, got balls. No, you did sometimes. And it's a vibe. You did right. sometimes. You did. Come Where on. Who? Come on. Let's not do that. Name we, me names. We, we grew up around bum stickity bum stickity bum. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, that, 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 yeah. What was that? <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> what, 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 what? I was not. I was going to say it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Let me concede it. Let me concede it. Let me tell you what I did. I was waiting for that. Before you said that, I was waiting for that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I was not doing that. There's a lot of records. There's no, a lot of records like that too. I was, I was, I was no, listen. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not disrespecting Dos Effects. What no, I'm saying no, is, no, no, what no, I'm no, saying is, every way. era has that group yeah. that somebody would be like, "Yo, yeah. what the fuck is going on? What are these dudes talking right. about?" Every era had that. And here's we just overlook it in ours because we're looking so close at the new generation. No, no, no. We overlook. We we gave Dos Effects what we gave them. The niggas went platinum. There's a reason for that. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Number one, no, 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 yeah, it was. No, my, my response to that, nice my response to that, and I concede every every point you just Coolio. made. Coolio. I concede every <laughs> I concede every point you just made when it comes to Dos Effect. I yeah. love it when that comes up. Right. Because my response is always the same thing. Dos came in an era where creativity and doing something original was heralded above everything else. What they did had not been seen before they did it. So we gave it a shot because number one, Eric and, Eric Sermon with Beats Don't Miss 
Solid Scheme didn't miss. Those beats were crazy. Mm. And we listened to dudes doing something we had never heard before. before. That's why it only lasted one album. It only went one album. The next album, they, they, they started weaning off. I don't know if I could just... By the third just, album, yeah. they didn't do that at all. I don't yeah. know if I could just use that as an excuse to just say it's not why an excuse, we accepted it's a, it. It's a reason. We but, heard yeah. something we never heard before. Yeah. And Look. let's not forget they were down with one of the number one crews in hip hop. They were part of the hit squad. Of course. Like, of course. And, and, let's, and let's not EPMD forget... co signing something was... Let's yeah, also yeah, yeah, not that, forget... That, that. Jay-Z used to rap just like them niggas. <laughs> How about that? Um, they influenced well, the yes and no. People. Yes and no. Just for, just for a time. Just, just maybe closer to a time. Yeah, 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 maybe closer yeah, to a yeah, yeah, It was yes. a style that was used. Yeah, you know what And it came and went. Closer to that. Foosh niggas again. Foosh niggas, that's a fact. Right. It came and went. But as soon as it was over, we left it where it was. But the fact is, all we wanted back then was creativity and originality. Right. And it had to be hard. So right. as long as it was creative and original, and hard. it got a and, and hard. Right. It got a pass long enough to do what it did. Mm -hmm. And then we now listen, we asked to get away from record labels so that the people could decide, right? Right. Exactly. The people have decided, and this is what they chose. The shit we don't like now. This is what the people <laughs> chose. The internet, <laughs> the internet, the the internet right is a democratizing. That's right. The internet <laughs> chose this. <laughs> We're mad I don't, at what I don't the people. Agree with that. No, I, I, the internet listen, opens yeah, up the door. Okay. So, math, math, I don't agree math, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go out and the back you go. No, you go no, no, What I'm saying, the people chose Griselda too. The people chose Griselda. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. That's why I'm giving it back. That's what I'm agreeing with you. Wait for it. What I'm saying is, wait, 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 we put things on the internet for consumption, right? Yeah. Right. And the people pick and choose what they like. You put right. out 10 things, they might say, I like these two. The two that they chose, we're mad at them for choosing that. That's essentially what's going on here. We're saying, I'm don't not, like Little Pump. Don't like this person. Don't like that person. The internet already chose no, them. I'm not, and, I'm not saying don't like no, them. No, I'm meaning uh, like, why do you like them go when ahead, this is I'm, out? It's essentially what we say. You have this music over here. Why are you gravitating towards that? That, that's not up for us to decide. I already, they know, did that already. I know why they're gravitating towards that. I don't even ask those questions anymore. And, mm. and for me, it's not a matter of yeah. don't like this like this. So I'm why are they gravitating? Because, your because, because consumers can be fooled by a fancy commercial. Consumers and connoisseurs are two totally separate things. For the same reason, mm. for the same reason that mm. when I was a kid, when I was a kid, McDonald's I'm was a treat. Mm. When I did good in school, my mother would say, hey, you passed that test, I'm going to take you to McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> when I was eight, yeah. oh my God, I lived for what? everything in McDonald's. Happy Meal. And, and why, 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 do why do you think you no, loved no, it? Why do you think you loved it? No, no, wait, no, wait for it. Wait for it. It's like uh, Christmas in a box. They gave me Christmas in a box. <laughs> with, then, a with a toy. With a toy. And, and then cheese. I started, after that, something with cheese I started on making it. my own money. <laughs> I started making my own money. I started getting out into the world. Right. And somebody put me on the Red Lobster. Mm. I went to Red Lobster. Oh, man, this is, this is way better than McDonald's. Right. The next thing you know, I get in my 20s. Mm. Somebody put me on to Tavern on the Green. Mm. I won't be caught dead in Red Lobster anymore. Right. My yeah. standards keep growing because you know better, you do better. Which right. one makes more money, McDonald's or Tavern on the Green? Which one do you like better? McDonald's. McDonald's, right? Yeah, by Which far. one sells more? By McDonald's. Far. Right. But Which one got a commercial? But McDonald's. which one do you need a fucking reservation to get into? To have but think about the this the con the, Hold on. Not even, not even to cut you off. No, There's a difference between consumers and connoisseurs. The difference right, between... Yes. And when we talk about errors, and the error that we're discussing, mm. we have what we refer to now as gatekeepers. Right. We had people whose whole job it was to keep the standard here. Yeah. Right. You can't... If you're whack, I'm going to tell you you're whack. You can't so. even be here no more. Like... I can't even let you in this studio because you're whack. Right. We put, we took the choice out of the out. We took all of that away from the gatekeepers because we wanted everybody to have an equal playing field, and we wanted a whole bunch of participation trophies, and we wanted to let people live. Now the participation trophy generation is getting exactly what they want. Here, now y'all can do whatever you want for it, and we are seeing what happens when there are no standards. Mm. People are entertained that's, that's, by completing, and what entertains you? Knock yourself out, because I remember liking McDonald's. I'm not mad at what entertains you, bro. Right. Just understand that my standards yeah. don't allow me to like this. This is trash for me. I did this already. What you're doing, mm. I consider baby babble. This is McDonald's. No, right. but I go to Tavern on the Green now, bro. I go to, I go to P. 
Peter Luger Steakhouse. You know I, know I, mean, I, don't, I don't go I to McDonald's. Mean, there's there's, now, there's, a, yeah, there's like, power in simplicity. You understand? Like yeah. sometimes, yeah, I, do I like Tavern in the Green and all that shit? Of course. But I love McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? No matter, I tell no matter you? how much, like, no matter how much exposure. Or what? Or like, <laughs> like, no matter how much exposure. Right? I went to China, I'm eating McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. I got the bread to buy all this shit, but I love McDonald's. If I if I offered the, you a the, business the point, to me and it said we was doing it at McDonald's, would you take me seriously? It's not a matter of that. Would you though? First of all, I'd, <laughs> if I knew you and you were a serious nigga, it wouldn't bother me. You understand? But if it was our first time meeting, I'm exactly. like, yo, this nigga's bugging. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but why well, have the meeting there? I'm not saying we're, like, you say you want to grab something to eat, I'm not going to look at you crazy. Because if I said we was having that same meeting at Peter Luger's and I got reservations, pull up. But what, yeah, just yeah, because. different. But, the tone is different. Right. The so, tone is so, 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 so how do we even the playing field? You mature, you mature to a The plan is even the playing field. You got to leave, you got to do exactly what Nipsey said, in my opinion. You leave the goofies to the goofies, you got to realize that people mm. is going to grow up, they're going to grow out, and if they don't, they don't. I don't I don't set my mark based on goofy shit. What the crowd. goofy shit or what I consider the the average, the 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 crowd does. Like y'all can all McDonald's makes more money than any place I just named yeah, right. every day. Right. There's yeah. always gonna be an audience for that. My of my, my my um homegirl Jazz Fly, rest in peace, used to say, there's always a club that'll let in a B list celebrity. Mm. Always gonna be that club that lets in the B and C and D list. Always gonna be that. You you can't you don't argue with that. That was happening before hip hop came around. Every genre of music. You know, has known you know that. why people love McDonald's and shit like that? Because you know what you're gonna get. There's no trickery. There's yeah. no extra shit. I go to Tavern on the Green. They might make my shit a little different today than the way yeah. they made it yesterday. Yeah. Not McDonald's, nigga. There is. They gonna give it to me there the exact is master I mean, trickery in McDonald's. But, but what I'm saying, <laughs> have you ever seen the <laughs> pictures of the food? <laughs> have you ever seen you the food? You never get with it. Yeah. Like the <laughs> when you know what you're gonna get, no matter never. what it is in life, when you know what you're gonna get, it's different. It's like if you're hungry, you're not gonna try a new it's, shit it's when you're starving, choices. right? Yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, starving, yeah. you're like, yo, I ate this before, I'm gonna eat it now because right. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You don't wait till you're hungry to be like, let me try some new shit. Never yeah, do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you understand? But I also you know, make you know it, you like it. So, so you look, so back to I, music. I also make it a point not to be hungry. No, so like, I, I don't, no, what I'm saying is back to music, right? So like music, if I go to the gym, I have certain songs that I need to get me right in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And those are my go to joints. Right. Are there better songs that, that more fit? Maybe, but yeah, yeah. these songs, you I know, know what, what I'm getting with these. Right. So I'm gonna listen to these over and over and over again. Right. And people get mad at consumers for doing that. They're like, yo, why would you listen to this over and over again? We have this over here and it's so much better. Well, and I think if those it was that much wrong. better, it would have right. made its way to my playlist. Right. But I, obviously I, it's not. I, right. think, I think those people are wrong. I think the people who go, why would you listen Shut to that? Shut up to stick man though. Some, sometimes yeah, the work is the same too. Sometimes, sometimes the same people are listening to trash and listening to dope shit. But what is they have the trash but, but, and we one can't feeling. call anything yeah, trash when it comes to music? Yeah, that's true. This is no, 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 Let me tell you something why you can't. This is all creative space. There is no room to call it. You could just say I don't like it, but no music is trash. You cannot call any music trash. That's an artistic approach. You being a super producer that would make sense. If you can consider something. Great to you, yeah. you can consider then you have right. the right. No, to yourself, to no, to yourself. Else. But what I'm saying is, right. when you verbalize that yeah. and put it in the world, like, yo, this is trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your opinion anymore. It almost becomes facts to people. So I don't say that about other people's music. Yeah, yeah, right. To me, it's like, that's just not my shit. You're right. a super producer. Somebody yeah, else why. likes that, but that's yeah. just not my <laughs> shit. Right. Because when you call something trash, you're diminishing. Every the artist value. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're, you're no, 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 no. Okay, so look, let me ask you a question. Wait, 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 wait. Some of these so you don't think, aren't even artists, you know, look, bro. I, like some no, of these listen, aren't even I, artists. I've ran into people that have said big name artists, yo, they're trash to me. How can you say that? You ready for this? You ready? Here's the response I have for you. And I'm I'm completely with you again. Mm. We not we we me and you ain't even really disagreeing. Yeah. All right, no, I just I have I have a blown out, I have a I have a wider view. Yeah. Working at the source, being a music editor, seeing it come, seeing it go. Exactly. If if heat makers were to sit there and say, this is trash, and somebody else comes along and says, I disagree, I need to consider the source. Right. Said that earlier, yeah. Right. You gotta consider you always have to consider the source of the information that's coming to you. Absolutely. Who said it? What's behind them? I have mm. with with even with the name of this show, mm. I have what's what I refer to as a qualified opinion. 
Right. Mm. My of course opinion you do. is qualified. My opinion is backed up by over 10,000 hours of doing exactly what I'm doing now on a professional level. Of I'm not a rookie. I don't listen to music strictly for entertainment purposes. I right. listen beyond that. So do you. Right. So does he. Mm. So does he. So does he. Right. We have expert opinions. I don't debate no with casuals. <laughs> I don't debate with casual I like, fans. I like the verb. You are a casual fan, bro. You can't, you can't talk to me about music the same way he can. Mm. You can't have a debate with me about beats the same way he can. And, I, right. and while I respect that your opinion is your opinion, mm. you have to respect what's behind your opinion versus what's behind mine. Of course. Right. I'm not talking to you from a casual standpoint, bro, and I'm not even saying I'm better than you. Yeah. But this is the work that I put in. How many flights do you take in the course of a year? Round number, ballpark. Uh, enough to get like four free? Done. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 a, if you you know a good chunk about flying, right? right? That, that can, we, we can all agree on that. Right. If for, that many flights a year? You got to know something about flying. Right. If a pilot rolled up on you and started talking about flying, would you open your mouth to talk back to that man yeah, or would you sit he's, there and he's listen? He's a pilot. Exactly course, my right. fucking point. Right. There are, there, because there's a qualifier. I've been eating since before I was born. I would never pop shit to a chef. Yeah. There's a such thing as a qualified fucking opinion. I don't argue with casuals. Anytime I have a conversation with a casual, that's a fucking education. You know, you know how... That's, <laughs> a, that's a consultation, I'm gonna tell bro. You like, I'm not debating you. You're, you're right and wrong... It's different from my right. You and know, if I say right. something is trash, it's because my opinion and what entertains me and my standards are here. Right. And they don't dumb down because you find something entertaining and I don't know anything about your background. What, how much music have you listened to? Right. I'm a, look, I'm going to put what it like this. What do you this. know? This is how, this how right. I look at it, right? I agree with you as far as like... I don't want to have debate with casuals over music and I like shit like that, that, right? I'm use, I'm no, 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 I, I'm I get that. I'm going to employ that, that in my it's, <laughs> it's a mechanism, bro. You're welcome. You're but welcome. I, I understand that even in a fool's conversation, there's, yeah. there's a gem hidden in there, mm. right? Too fast. Mm -hmm. fast. So right. if I dismiss casual conversations, you know how much gems I lose? Mm. You understand what I'm saying to you? Right. Like, I don't dismiss anybody. Like, right. I take more certain niggas more serious than others, mm. yeah. right. but I don't dismiss anybody. Because that one dude I dismissed could have yeah, probably you... told me a gem that made, made me look life. at music yeah. differently. Well, well exactly. I, I, well, I, I, I can say I'm, this. I'm, as, far, as far as his position, he has to think that way. Yeah. Not necessarily. He's an editor. No, no, he's an editor. But I want to yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. Like, you have to decide. You have to be the deciding factor between whether this makes sense or this doesn't Facts. make sense. But look, you know what I mean? look what we're doing here, though, right? That same kid that he's judging. I didn't judge. No, no, didn't no, judge. no, 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 but I'm judging. saying that no, I never, no, I never no, judged I say judging. Okay, you're right. critiquing. Yeah, right. Sure. The same kid you're critiquing, right? When he wrote certain shit in his room because he was feeling a certain way, you might not love it, you might not like it, but. His message is going to translate to other kids that feel like him. Sure. Right. So when you throw him away and say, you know what, this is trash, I don't, what happens then? Okay. Well, but there's, wanna, but there's, no, I, I, one, there's no subject to say that's going on. What we, where we were at was, uh, was as far as like mumble rappers in the era of not <laughs> performing said, your lyrics. Right. But think right. about right. this. Yeah, about right. this. got caught up on the trash Something, And I yeah. know trash. <laughs> 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 and this is trash. And this is, this, is, this is a fun fact, because you yeah. talked about sources, right? Right. Edward Bernays and Sigmund Freud, people are familiar with psychosomatics and what it comes down to, like you was talking about, energy, et cetera, exchange, whatever. Right. They said something that was super important. Mm -hmm. Edward Bernays, nephew or whatever relative of Sigmund Freud, then turned into what you do, what's called media propaganda. Not saying what you do with propaganda. No, but, I got you. But you understand PR, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. Right. Something he said was important about selling and not selling the music or anything in the world. He said... If you want to sell something to the masses, you don't appeal to their intelligence. You yeah. appeal to their desires and their fears. Their vices. In an instance. Right. So right. therefore, what he's saying operates from a place of music appealing to people's desires and fear. Right. You're speaking from a place of it appealing to one's intelligence where that particular audience or that particular, let's say, small ecosystem within the culture of hip hop, right? Let's call mm -hmm. it an infrastructure, look at it like an enterprise company. Mm -hmm. It's not, a, it's, it, it, it's speaking, y'all speaking in the same tongue, but you're speaking in one speaking executive, like mm -hmm. a suit, mm -hmm. and one is speaking as a creative. Mm -hmm. That same divisive, you know, school of thought is actually, they, they balance, it's yin and yang, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's needed. 
True. So that's one like, of the yeah, beauties but, of hip hop. That's okay. one of the beauties. Just different right, now, now, now you you just you just walked into a very interesting area. Cause now I have to wonder if you're not appealing to a te- intelligence anymore. What are you advocating? The lowest common denominator. The, the low lowest vibration. Common the, lowest I, common desire the low and vibration. Desires yeah, and fears. Yeah. And a, and the low vibration encourages what? Indulgence. And what we have now is an era full of Over drug indulgence. addicts. Ob- Here's what we got to keep in context too, man. We're yeah. also seeing we're also seeing the world. Shift right in front of our face for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like when we was coming up, social yep. media didn't yep. exist. Right. Mm-hmm. So you didn't know what was happening in Cali if you was in New York in real time. Right. Mm-hmm. Now we seeing everything all over the world in real time. So you're seeing more drug addicts, more alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So right. people are making music about that. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not that everybody's a drug addict and everybody's a user. It's just this is what they're seeing on everyday life through social media. Oh, no, so they're rapping no, about no, it. No, I get that, but I will say that they if you look at the drugs. statistics, yeah. no, of course, but of, of people over, overdosing, yeah, that's skyrocketed, bro. That's sky, yeah. sky high, sky high. They are taking the we we did come from an era where the dealer and the junkie were two separate people. Yeah, of course. And of we course. only respected the dealer. We didn't respect the junkie. The junkie, right? Dealer doing dope and they fly. And neither one was one to praise, to keep it real with you. Right. Uh, well, we, they we, don't tell you the end story of the dealer no, no, half well, the time. We, we mm. did. What we saw with the dealer was somebody who made a way out of no way and was willing to take the risk and the chance. What we saw in the junkie was somebody who succumbed to the thing that the dealer overcame. Right. And he, he crumbled under his own... Shit. One of them took ingenuity and intelligence, yeah. and the other one just took weakness. No, I disagree with that. That's wrong. You can't encapsulate that in that particular, under those two terms, right? Because if you're looking at human weakness, once again, it's, that's, you have what you call objective truths, wow. philosophical truths, right? And mm-hmm. political truth, right? Those are three ways to approach a form of a truth, right? Right. And then... How much strength does it take to be a junkie? I, I don't, I'm not qualified to talk about <laughs> Satan. <laughs> but I good answer, know. good answer, no, no. good answer. We <laughs> all are qualified. We don't know to just say. I'm going to keep it real with you. I, I good answer, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm going to jump down. Right. He's getting mine. He's getting I'm a politician, man. I'm not, I'm not even <laughs> saying that. I'm, I love it. I love it. <laughs> man, I think when it comes to like, when it comes to shit like that, not saying it takes strength to be a junkie, but we don't know where they came from. I know a lot of niggas with crazy backstories that end up being that. Yeah. Right. That had perfectly good lives I, before I, that. And I know people with crazy so, backstories right. that are not that. No, of course. But right. what I'm saying is no, 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 it no, took no, something for them to even genetic. get to that point. Which, right. which, which, which we don't disrespect because we don't know. I'm on, again, I'm on your side. It's Again, I'm on your side. My thing is... My, ever since I got into this business, I developed this philosophy. Mm-hmm. When, when the results don't change, the why is irrelevant. Repeat that. When the results don't, don't change. change, the why is irrelevant. I find a lot of people spend a lot of time searching for the why in situations. Mm-hmm. Why did, the, the most basic one I can give you is, why did you shoot me? Right? You got shot. If the bullet is still in you and you're bleeding, do you really care why it's there over getting it out that, and getting better? I mean, at the end of the day, that does matter. Not to the doctor whose right. job it is right. to save your life. You know they don't, they, there's, no, there's no example of why you got shot that's going to stop them. I'm talking about that you, for the person it matters. Person, Maybe yeah. not for the oh, doctor. Dude, dude, right. you that, it matters. God forbid, right. knock on wood, I right. ever get knock shot. Knock on something. Fix me first. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, yeah. And, then, and then let's figure it out. Then, then we can do yeah, whatever. Right. 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 But not but not if the results no, no, not don't why, change. Like, like, if you got a bullet in your head, knowing why this person got a bullet in the head doesn't change whether you... He bent over, so now I got to... That's how. No, no, that's, that's the, how. the how. That's, that's the, the how. how. That's not the well, why. I'm talking about the why. And, and, we, and when I say all that to say, we start talking about the difference. And I, I wasn't trying to qualify 
junkies versus dealers. Yeah, I was saying yeah. how we see it, how we how we looked at it in music. Why we praise one and and diss the other one. And to your point, mm -hmm. yes, people have wild reasons why they got started on something. Right. Between between, eh, it was Saturday night. I just wanted to try it. My mm -hmm. boys is all whatever. I was right. dating a white girl. I was, <laughs> well, that happened. Or all the way to, yo, my life is a nightmare. And I, I mean, need escape, to escape, escape it yeah. right. any way possible. Mm -hmm. All of that. All, uh, the, that and that and the gray area in between all lead to junkie. None of us stop to look at the, the, when the results don't change, the why is irrelevant. The why became irrelevant once you saw a junkie smoking crack. I, but know what? I got to think more no, about that no, before no, I agree yeah, with that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't agree with that because that's such a linear approach. You can't, there's no part-time solution for a lifetime disease like addiction. Facts. Right? Mm. So because mm. there is no part-time solution for something wow. that has been ingrained and celebrated, right. uh, has been almost, it's, there's a manufactured consent mm -hmm. with some of the shit we do and it's celebrated. You right. actually said it as a professional editor and a writer, right, within your particular realm. You've been doing that for years. And you said, we, that statement is not true from the start because until every voice has said, we agree that we would always be what? Subjective. Right. What? Mathematically speaking. Right. And truthfully speaking, it's not an accurate statement. You're speaking from a subjective lens, which creates... These great conversations. It's not. It's, a, it's not a juxtapose. We could call I, it that. I, I but I'm just saying. I'll take it there. But <laughs> for my, for me and my people here, right? Yeah, We're right. just saying if I agree with what I'm saying to you is, it's not an absolute truth. To I'm why not, someone becomes a junkie. Yes. It's not. I, I'm, no, no, no. No, he no, said no, the no, why doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, the why yeah. doesn't matter. I said. The I said why the why. Matter. I said the why doesn't matter because. Yeah. In terms of sometimes maybe. No, in terms of when. You can't. Sometimes the, the why has to matter. So repeat sometimes that. Sometimes the why statement. That's what you said. Sometimes the why because wouldn't matter. I, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was so, the why it, was, it was so elegantly packaged. Now let him say that. Well, I'll say it again one more time. What you said. My, my, my philosophy when it comes to this is when the results don't change, the why is irrelevant. I never ask about what. And, and since we're talking about junkies and. I like this. When my whole thing was, we got to get this fixed. You did say that. We got to get this fixed. I stopped looking at regardless, the why. Regardless. I don't, bro, I don't care how you became a junkie. Stop. We got to get you right. We got to right. remediate the problem. Now, now, yeah. if, if getting underneath some of that stuff is it's what necessary. gets you out of it, absolutely necessary. Right. But I don't, I don't, my, that, that's not why you became a junkie. If I found out that you became a junkie because you were dating a white girl versus you became a junkie because your life was a nightmare, you're still a junkie. My goal is still to get you from to so, not be a junkie. So you don't believe right. in seeing like psychologists and things of that nature. No, no, no. I absolutely do. I believe I, that kind of goes against your. It doesn't. It doesn't because because look, if my if not, hold on, hold on. look, if my woman cheats on me, right? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't ask why. We discussed this. So I should, yeah, I shouldn't go to counseling. Shouldn't ask why. I should just do you eat that. Fix it. No, this is what I'm saying. She said the, the why That's, would be no, relevant. No, that, that, yeah. no, that. If if she cheats on you, the why would be relevant to go not, to counseling. Not if you don't. Not if you don't give a fuck that she cheated. No, what I'm saying is to go to counseling, which you agree with, the why would be relevant. That's if you care why she cheated. The bottom yeah, line but of this you conversation. Can't, what I'm saying is you can't believe in both. But no, no, I'm not believing in both. I said the when the results don't change. That's the part you're skipping over. No, the I, result no, I, didn't, your, I didn't skip over. No, if the, the result, result is she cheated. Right, so if the result, no, that's the, that's you're, what you're, she you're did. If the result is that you're going to leave her, it doesn't matter why she cheated. Don't matter. Who cares? But but that's if you if you want to save it, then the why is, then the why becomes relevant because uh, the results. Right, so are here we change. are. Here we so are. There's in certain room, instances where trying the to figure out the why. It, it's the result. Yeah. Yeah. So if it, the result I, is going to it. change, the why is now relevant. If the result so the don't instant. change, okay. the why is irrelevant. So, okay. She, here, so here's that's the question. Instant. Here's a question. Instant. Um, is there is hip hop or yeah, back to music, rap music, back to hip hop, part of the why that New York's murder rate is sky high right now? No. No. It's the result. It's the result. Mm, no. the, the, well, the culture. Ah. The, I mean, what's happening in the streets? Ah. What's happening in the streets is before what's happening in is a, the music the is a reflection of the streets. Right. Mm. The music is a reflection of the streets. I, I think we passed that. I think we passed yeah, that. Yeah, that's not. 
Popping, that's, I, what's going on that's true too. I refuse to blame. Out. I refuse to blame rap music for for people dying. No, I can't I, do that I, I, because I, then you have to blame. Like, yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what? Why? And, why and I wouldn't rap? blame. I wouldn't blame uh, rap music, but I would blame uh, a lack of a, a better positive, uh, a more positive influence. Okay, yeah. let's say this. You understand? Oh, I, I, yeah, if you, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. listen to something, they, they've done this study with like plants. Like they took two plants. It's one they put I love one you. plant in the room, Sunlight. and they had someone went, going in and pet love, it and yes. talk to it and say nice Play things to it every music, day. Shit like that. And the other one, they ran in, they played rock music, they screamed and yelled yeah. and said negative things to it, and they gave them both the same amount of water. And after 30 days. The one that, that that got all the negative energy right. was dying. Yeah, right. Huh. Let's talk about that. That's ill that you said that. Now, so, uh, so if you keep listening to this rehearsed message of kill, life doesn't matter. I'm the press. Take drugs. Um, shoot the ops. Like you were listening to this all the time. Yeah. And it's coupled with no positive influences in front of you. Right. What happens? What do you become? You know, I don't know if you but, know. But that also got to be reinforced Yo, by, by life, lifestyle. Yeah, see, What's see, happening in your real see, life see, is, right. is the home bro. Because, right. because there's, a lot have... of, there's a lot of deep social economics, if you want to get into that, that go into oh, yeah, all of yeah, that. Yeah, too. Yeah, no, so we can get into the master there's plan. A lifestyle. But for right now, let's get into the what fact is, that this does have what an effect gonna, so when you watch a, when you, people. When you watch a big movie... Uh -huh. When you watch like a a, a big movie that's Terminator, a shit movie, like that, they're killing everybody. Does yeah. that does that turn you Look, into a gangster? This, this Listen, saying, hey. let's be that's real. One of the when you was young, <laughs> when you was young, and you was watching yeah. them kung fu flicks yeah. on Channel Five, of course, you thought yeah. you tried to do it. You tell them you was in the yeah, crib, you tried to do that, jump kicking your you sister, you get in trouble. You gonna try that? You gonna try that? Ah, you kicking me? This is what I'm saying to you. When you was young, you gonna try When you was young, you gonna try that? You gonna try You had about four good shows. You could probably catch at that time it was either probably kung fu some shit different strokes or some shit like Look, that whatever yeah. the fuck it was right nowadays you have fucking thousands of things you could watch right. whatever you choose right. is your prerogative right. if you choose to watch some shoot them up kill them shit 10 15 times a day right that's what you chose like when are we gonna start taking accountability for the shit that we chose no we, i get it okay but, but, it's a balance but, but, of the but, two maybe it might be going the same back level, and forth. I, because the, this is the correlation i'm trying to make yeah um, hip hop was going back into a positive zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. We saw the emergence of Kendrick Lamar, yeah. J. Cole, um, Drake. Even right. was to to a certain extent was not right. perpetuating a certain lifestyle. So a lot of people in the neighborhood that was like, "I'm not selling drugs no more. This ain't it no more." Yeah. Right. Then Cowers we had back in the day. then Cowers we had a won. resurgence. Um, a rapper named Chief Keef. Right. Got a lot of money, mm -hmm. and he put out a record, and then his lifestyle was put out on the internet, right. and everything that was going on in Chicago. Yeah. Right. And if you look at the 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 death toll in Chicago at that mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and you look at the emergence of the music, there's a there's a connection. To that I agree. Shit going up, I agree with the that. more popular drill music got. You know what I mean? Like, I agree with yeah. that. But, but, but if, in, in agreement with that. Now hold on, but let me finish the point. Bringing it to New York now. Uh huh. Right. We got New York drill. Right. And now New York is the murder capital again. Is it? Is it? It's it's up okay, above okay. every other state right was, now. It's up since the pandemic. Since the pandemic. Is this a quarterly data or is this yearly data? Because you have I say it's quarterly right now. Okay, so if you go look at, right you know, now. and then you have real time data and some of that data, the inaccuracies in it will put you in the position to say X, Y, and Z, right? Right. But if you look at it and you're looking at, okay, cool. Back to what he said. There's corporate media, right? And mm -hmm. then you have alternative media and there's two different, there's several sets of facts that run through these particular entities, right? Mm -hmm. So because of that, like you said, if, if, if corporate media, or let's say that a certain aristocracy within hip hop, right, that controls, we're the only people to go to other people to tell us how to do our culture. That's half of the problem. You don't, see, you don't see any other ethnic group coming to us to ask us, hey man, you guys should put on more jewelry, we should wear more coats, you should put more beer in the video, get some crystal porn. They right. don't ask us for permission to do what they do, and they don't, they don't perpetuate anything that we tell them to perpetuate in their culture. Right. That's probably more than 50% of the problem, rough or roundabout number, not, you know, whatever. But I'm just telling you, 
we don't control media and our culture enough to change the message at the push of a button or say, no, we're not messing with X, Y, Z anymore. Would you agree or disagree? I, I we don't disagree. own enough. We don't own enough of it. I disagree. Talk about it. I disagree. Collectively in this room, um, if I was to add up everybody's followers, it's a good amount of people. Okay. Now, if you continue to do that amongst hip hop, amongst the legends, amongst every, amongst the, you, you add everybody up. There is no corporation that could have a louder voice than all of those people connected. I'm going to tell you why yeah. I would chop that and debunk that in less than three seconds. Because none of us own the media platforms that we're going to put the message on. Do you own Twitter? Do you own Instagram? If I fucking hit the button, no nigga in here can go tomorrow and build up his own platform from scratch as an engineer and build that shit up and say, I'm going to have a million followers. You can't do that. So what I'm telling, we don't You're saying own it's being perpetuated. No, it's not being perpetuated. We don't own it like we think we do. Yeah. That's right. the illusion. But why would the message not be delivered? Because people are scared to fuck up their bag. Hmm. Niggas ain't gonna That's get out shit. here. Niggas ain't gonna get out here and say the truth and the facts. You know why? I ain't gonna be the woke nigga. Right? <laughs> why? Because they scared. And if being woke was cool and it was the new gangster shit. It'd be 100,000 I mean, niggas was, in the it, middle it of all the It was the new cool shit for like two weeks. Everybody <laughs> yeah. was woke for like yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, the MCs, the MCs could, could influence that too. Yo, the MCs all could I'm influence saying, that. And, yeah. it, and, it, and, it, and it's not an attack on your lens. It's just to give you the perspective of my lens on it. Because mm -hmm. this conversation is about sharing lenses, right? Which is, right. is ill to me. Yeah. Like, look, but, that, like, what, like what you said, there has to be more organization, right? Like we have more black billionaires and millionaires now than ever. Ever. The only way we make a change is by pooling our finances. Not our media outlet, our finances. Facts. Black owned banks, black owned communities. Facts. When I say that, I don't even mean like, Facts. and I'm not trying to be on no separation of races shit. I just mean in the, in the sense of, you want it's to be us. No, right. we, we got to circle the wagons. We got to circle the wagons. We have, we, no, we what I'm saying is you want to be, take, you be taken don't. seriously. Right. Yeah. America is not about black and white. People think Fuck it is. Right. It's about bread. If I, if I have just as much money as this Jewish dude, he's gonna treat me the same. He's not gonna treat me like the black dude from the hood. Nope. Mm -hmm. He gonna treat me like, yo, I need him. Yeah. Call me every day, how you fan? No, but it don't matter. It's business. Yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah. He's not my friend. This is business. Facts. He Facts. can say whatever you want to say behind my back, but yeah. we're we're doing business. You understand? Right. So everybody thinks that it's about white or black. Or it's not about not. that. It's, it's about not. bread. Facts. Yeah. When More you facts. have less, they, tr they treat you like you have less. Facts. You understand? So if you got a million to a billionaire, it's like, this nigga got crumbs. Fuck this nigga. You understand? Right. When, the, when the owner of the Clippers looked at his players, he's like, I pay these niggas. Yeah. Fuck these niggas. Why are you chilling with these niggas? <laughs> They're niggas because I right. pay right. these niggas. Right. You understand? Right. Meanwhile, you think that same dude could facts. ever say that to Michael Jordan who owns his own shit? Mm. He's not, Jordan is not a nigga to him. Right. Mm. You understand? Yeah, but like, he said it about Magic no, he, Johnson. He said it about. Who has just as much bread. Of course he did. Mm. Of he course he did. He said it about did. Magic. That's why, that's why when you say it's not about black and white, I see your point. Mm. But I also mm. recognize that there are white people who don't see it that way. And, yeah, and, they, what, they don't what, understand. What, and what's the yeah, term for that? They don't see it that way. And the term for that would be called uh, intrinsic bias, right? Mm. Right. Or, or intrinsic, intrinsic or, bias. Intrinsic yeah. bias, or I forgot the other bias is called. As, as much money as Magic Johnson is worth, this white man who owned the Clippers was still like, don't bring that nigga to my games. I, I remember him saying that. Right. And I think he, it's ethnocentric. He didn't, Listen, he didn't give a yeah. fuck how much money he made. And this is, this is where business and personal start separating because... LeBron is worth, he's still getting nigga written on the side of his house mm. by somebody Listen. who he could buy and sell. Like, <laughs> I guarantee you the person who wrote nigga on the side of LeBron James' house would jump at the chance to get a job with LeBron James right. and take, and take Aaron every penny and probably will never see the amount of money, half, a quarter, a percentage of the money that... that we're to, well, listen, we're talking about... That spray. We're, we're, we're talking, that spray can. Listen, we're talking right. about the small version racism. I'm talking about the bigger picture. You understand? Like, I've been in a drive-thru before. A bum came over to me. He was a white dude. L going through the garbage. I say, yo, bro, here's $20. Mm. The dude is like, yo, man, fuck you. I'd never take money from a nigga. What? You understand? He said That's, that? Said yeah, That's he said crazy. He said, I'd never take money from wow. a nigga. That's what you did after that? Crazy. Wow. Shot pulled off. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I felt crazy after that. Cause yeah. I'm like, how can a homeless dude make me feel crazy by just saying that? 
You yeah. understand? There are racists in the in this world. Because I get that. Right. What I'm saying is, it's bigger than that. Right. Yeah. There's always going to be racists. There's this white dudes hate black dudes, black dudes hate white dudes, so on and so forth. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's about the economy, finances. What do you I have versus what I he has? Dis- I don't disagree with you. Mm. I, no, I, I, I don't. There's methods. When we talk, when we talk like this, when we talk this talk, listen, I'm I'm. Dr. Claude Anderson all day. Like, <laughs> I, like he, that dude will tell you to your face, get your money together. He describes the pillars. I, I, I bank at Carver. You know what I mean? Just, right. to, keep, just to keep the money black. I, I spend money in black-owned establishments. Right. Mm-hmm. I wear a coup. Like, I, I buy black all the time. However, however, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't, as much as Claude Anderson talks and as much as I trust in what he says and as much as I follow what he says because I agree with it I do believe there's more than one way to skin a cat you know what I mean like it's not the only issue it's not the of course only it's not issue. the only issue so, so I don't so I don't I don't though, right? treat it like the only although I think it's the more pressing one I do think it's the right. bigger issue I'm with you big picture yes absolutely let's get our money and I don't ever feel bad about getting our money together because every other race does it and they look at you crazy when you do it they got Chinatown. They'll put yeah. Chinese writing on the street signs. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't give a fuck if you can't understand it or not. Like when it comes to circling the wagons, we're the only ones who are made to feel bad for doing it. Exactly. Mm. When we want to keep our shit to us, when yeah. we want to, no, 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 no. Meanwhile, I, I want to spend that. my money with him. I want to buy your hat. I want to go get your t-shirt. Whenever we talk about doing black owned stuff, we're the only ones who are ever made to feel bad for it. Yeah, I'm, Meanwhile, right, they got Chinatown. Yo, can, I, can, I, can I keep it real with you? Like, <laughs> When people talk about like <laughs> racism and, and certain racist Never shit, stay. it bothers me because it's like we're driving more of a division between this shit than we thought of. You understand? Like how you figure? Okay, when I was growing up, right? Like my mom said to remember my mother and my father. Like you got to work three times as hard. You a black man. You're from Jamaica. This, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. And it put a certain thing in my head, like. I was almost inferior out the gate. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Right. Like and it. I refuse to do that to my kids. Mm-hmm. To me, it's like, I'm going to set you out in the world, and whoever you don't like or whoever treats you crazy, judge them accordingly. I'm right. not going to put some preconceived notion in your head of this person hates you without, without meeting you first. I'm not going to do that. Mm. Be- because to me, that, that set me off on the wrong foot. You understand? I'm not so sure I'm, about yeah, that because your I'm, feet look pretty good where no, you, you are right now. You understand, you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. It made me, it made me prejudge people that didn't deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You understand? Like a lot of people don't deserve to be treated like that because they didn't do nothing to me. Well, I, I, I'd say this. I'd say it'd be safer for us to unjudge people mm. because not having that prejudgment could lead you into the lion's den. But that prejudgment could come in another costume that you're not prepared for because nobody told you about that. Oh, well, you, you so gotta, why you are we gotta... just pointing out this person when there's thousands more around us that could harm us? Because we got a right. history with that person. Right. We, we don't. We watch, no, we well, walk listen, walk let's stop right. doing that. Let's, this is what oh, I'm saying. No, no, we can't no, keep no, saying we, we. we. You understand? Like our ancestors did. Unless, unless you had bro, a per, unless you bro, had the personal bro. beef yourself, bro. you can't say that. I've had the. Pers- I, I've been mistreated by white cops, black cops, Chinese cops. Span- I'm from the Bronx. Cops, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. what I'm saying to you, I've been I've been mistreated by white people, black. Yeah, cops let's not even just say cops. Thing. I've right. been mistreated by white people, black people, Chinese people, Spanish people. I also been yeah. treated great by white people, black, black people. You understand? Right. Right. So what I'm saying is, I'm not just gonna say this particular race. They got something that I gotta look out for. I'm not gonna say that. Not a whole well, race. Well, well, let me ask you a question. You felt crazy when you offered that guy that a million money percent. And he said, but if you was just a little bit racist, you might not even went through that, bro. Like if you'd have just put the but judgment it, on it, like but this, ain't, but, but this ain't my no, problem. No, you're right. This but you ain't know my what? Problem. I'm, a, I'm a person first. So in my head, I looked at him like this is a dude that's hungry. I got some bread. Let me yeah, offer him and, something. And, yeah, and, yeah, I, and yeah, I sympathize. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's a good look. The other I, night, I find this white lady face down yeah. on the street. Right. It's me and my man Flex. We help her up. She's like probably like in her 80s, 90s or something. Right. Like barely walk. She got a cane and all that. We're helping her, and she looks up at me and my friend, and she's like, why are you helping me? I'm white. I said, you're a human being. Yeah. She said, yeah, but why are you helping me? 
said, well, if it was my mother, I would like somebody to right. help them too. Right. And we walked on home. Right. But in her mind, it was like... But that's what I'm saying. That's what has to stop to me. It's like, no, okay, let me just... I'll no, put it out there, she right? knew like... Like, look, my daughter, my... my, my I, can, my, I, I can see, go I see, totally wrong way with went. this. And you're like, she knew, like, if she's 80, 90, she's been around no, no, during course. the time they was doing really, million, really fucked up A million up percent, shit. what I'm saying. And she might have been part of it. At some point, so that has like, to stop, though, is what I'm saying. That right. has to stop. Right. I, I don't think, and while I agree with you... So, yeah. look, okay, before, not to cut you off, right? Like, no, my no. youngest daughter is mixed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do I tell her? What do I say to her? What side of the fence is she on? You really want me to answer that? Yeah. How, she, what do I explain? She's to her? on your side. Yeah. No, I know that, but what I'm saying to you is, so now does she neglect her mother and her mother's side? No, no, not no. At all. One not doesn't at all. come with the other. There's, there's no absolute in this. I'm there's, not telling. But, I'm not telling anybody to go burn a white. What man's I'm saying house to you is, I shouldn't have to have that conversation because we're people at the end of the day. Right, right, but we are not there. Yeah. We are not where because you think it should be. No, because of hold this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We cannot afford to be the first people to put the guns down. Sorry. My brother, listen to what I'm saying to you. We have to stop saying... To, to let our guard down and decide right. that it's all kumbaya yeah, it's and we all right. Right. Like, the, the, we're the we're not, we're not come come us. Right. No, we're, there's, there's nobody in our neighborhoods that just fear white people. We fear each other. It don't come from us, bro. Right. It don't come from us. It we're not from the, the reaction of other people when they see us. Yeah. They A feel fear. Percent. They do things out of fear. A million Most percent. police that, that, that shoot brothers down, the first thing they feel is fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they see this. Yeah, they think they're not making it Fair home. is misunderstanding, you know that. So yeah, if yeah, you, yeah. If you, if you don't want to explain racism, explain the fear. Of course. You know what I mean? No, but listen, I'm never, I would never say I wouldn't explain racism to my kids. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I wouldn't make them feel as if you should hate this particular uh, type of people because of their skin color. Well, I don't think you, you, I don't you, think you should pre preach hate to anybody. No, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't it think anybody even it saying hate. No, it doesn't come out as hate. It comes right. out as be careful because of this has happened we, in we our past. We should be yeah. careful. We yeah, should. but at some no, point, this is what I'm saying. Why? You at can't. You bro, can't yo, they let a whole bunch of us on a boat. No, you put me on the boat. Yo, come on Yo, you send your son out to deal with these cops out here and you don't tell him what's what. And then when it comes back the wrong way, well, I didn't want it to be that way. No, bro, we can't afford to walk out the how about, house not understanding how about what your, it is. How about right. your son don't... going to be brave, you're going to make the right decision. That's, right. Bull, that's you're bullshit. You're going to make the right decision because bravery don't make you stupid. Philando Castile was so brave, he was out here with a gun, told the cop that he had one and got true. murdered on the spot. In front of his kids. And he was doing the right thing. All of a sudden, I'm just letting you know, I'm armed, there's a gun in the car. That's how brave he was. He trusted in the system so much that he thought telling the cop that he had a gun was going to save him. Well, he got murdered in front of a little girl and his woman. And she sat there and watched him die. Bro, I, I, I understand that. I, I would right, love it. Explain, would, explain this to me, right? And I'm not saying that racism don't exist. I know it does, a million yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. I've been pulled over pulled over, taken out of my car by Spanish officers, harassed, yeah. put against the car, hands on the hood, <laughs> handcuffed, all of that shit, right? Meanwhile, I'm looking at the dude, I'm like, yo, my brother, why are you doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, yo, shut up, get against the car, da 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 call for backup, all of this shit. I'm gonna explain so it So now, should I have a vendetta against Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and, uh, should I? No, because- you, are, you, you want it or you want I, me to- I, I, I do want to inform you of something, that um, these officers, when they're in training, they watch videos of officers being killed. Right. That's right. instilled in their head. I get that. They, they I get that. You feel me? I get that. But so, what, I, what I'm saying is, I just, look, I'm just, I guess I'm, I'm like him. We, I'm anti-hate. You understand? I right. just look at it like, if I'm going to hate you, I'm going to have a reason. 100%. Right. For sure. Not because of how you look, what you dress like. Mm. You did something to me. Right. You personally harmed me, my family, mm. something. Right. Anything sure. short of that, I have no beef with you. you right. Whatsoever. Per per personally or historically? Personally, no, historically, fuck historically. And yeah. niggas might say whatever they want to say about me. Legacy. Fuck yeah. historically, personally. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. if, yeah. if I keep judging everything off of history, I'll never live my life. I hate every fucking body. I'm not, that's I'm, real. I think no. that's what people I, I, have to I, I, Listen, you know it's, it's the word hate is what the only place I draw the line. Because yeah. I'm not saying that anybody should hate anyone. But I do think you need to be aware we are that you aware. are behind enemy lines. Listen, You're building your own legacy on the bones of your people. This whole thing was built off of your blood, bro. Like, they, this place owes you. 
They don't owe me shit. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold they on. They don't owe me wait, shit. Wait, 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 you're entitled to pursue your happiness. That's that's in the right. Constitution and the country you're born in. We haven't been given that. The same people who would deny you that are the people who owe you that. And that's all I want. I want what I'm owed. I want my chance to pursue ha- now. Now. So you don't think you have no, your no. chance to pursue well, happiness? No, no, no. no, 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 no I want to I want to circle right back to the topic because this started it went back 400 years. It went back 400 years somehow. But it started in with the state of hip hop and Word. what kind of messages are we allowed And we're back in you? slavery, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> we went to slavery, slavery fucked it up, right? And, and, and that just says the answer some, somewhere is Caucasian. It, that's what it's all going to say. I think that's what it was. Somewhere Listen, the answer is Caucasian. You know what I mean? It's a negative narrative. It got changed around because, look, I'm vegan. I've been right. studying 12 years. I've been actually alkaline vegan 8. Right. My mother, father, my family eat pork. They do all that. I change the narrative. My kids will not eat meat. Mm. Right. And everything that I plant a seed in, for oh, it's like I see, and it <laughs> grows. And, and, mm. and people be like, you know what? Let me do my own research. Let me become who I need to become, not because of anything else. I change the narrative. Right. I'm the one that do it, not, oh, pork is good for you, bacon, yeah, yeah. egg, and cheeses, uh, orange juice in the morning. None of that shit. All that shit is erased. Mm-hmm. We can erase the same shit with this racism shit. Same thing. Right. With here's, the seeds that's planted here's, now. No, nah, here's the However, difference. However, here's but, the difference. But, but, but you're, you're not, you, you have, here's the difference. There is not someone, I, this, this, is, this is hard. This me and him argue hard. all the time. Every time we do an interview, me and this nigga argue <laughs> every <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> fail. This is a stop. No, I don't understand. I don't think me and this nigga have agreed on shit in three interviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the third one. This is, that, when I saw this I thing, I'm like, hold on. I'm like, this is, I divide so this setup. Like, this is great. Me, meanwhile, meanwhile, he's one of my favorite people. Right. Mm, when I see him shit. coming down the block, right. he's one. Of, I, I'll stop everything. Yeah, because it's all love. He knows right. it's all love. When we I might mean, disagree, but it's all love. No, we disagree right. like a motherfucker. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but when, 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 when you we, gotta hear the shit we really disagree about. Right. This is like <laughs> yeah. this is this ain't this is regular shit. <laughs> if I tell you after the show, I'm gonna tell you. So you knew it was coming. Right. You knew yeah. it was coming. Yeah. 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 Right. So, <laughs> right now, where where I want to go is towards solutions. Solutions. Let's let's forget how how these things happen. Uh huh. Let's get to solutions. How do we change the state of, of not only the culture that we love, but the culture of the people? Because if you change the culture to me, I feel like you change the people. So how live, do we change live, it? Live, your, live your, your own truth 100%. Don't hurt nobody else in the process. And that's how we change it. Simple. Start with your own shit. Everybody want to change everybody fucking else? Change your own shit first. Once you change your own shit, other niggas will follow because they'll look at you like, yo, he got his shit together. I want to be like him. Let me fuck with his shit. You understand? Mm. Everybody's like, yo, you should do this. You do that. You go over there and do this. Meanwhile, my shit is fucked up. Mm. Real That's sick. what the gram is. Right. You go to the gram, you, you want to live a better life? Do this. Here's the five <laughs> points in order to... What yeah. are you talking about, nigga? Your wife is probably beefing with you at home. You trying right. to help me with my relationship. Like, like what, what, what was homeboy, right. homeboy that got caught that's out there? Derek right. Jackson. Oh, like that nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Too? Like that nigga. That. That what, what's his name? name? What's his name? Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson. The nigga used to be on Derek the gram like, yo, listen, man, I don't understand Captain guys Captain. that disrespect yeah, yeah. their women and talk to da 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 this, that, and the third. Right. Meanwhile, now you got your wife next to you apologizing for cheating on her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Handle yeah, yeah, your own shit left first left before you start giving out advice. That's my advice for change. Right. Fuck but, what everybody else doing. Get your shit in order. Yeah, so I, you understand? That's the all you can do. I, I can't control what nobody in this room does except myself. Right. So if I'm fucked up, what I look like giving you advice? Facts. You understand? Well, That's well, a great starting well, point. And I think but, the second thing we could do well, is kind of like working together. I think more just like coordinating together. I mean, that's just one of these things where it's like sort of impossible to do. But it's something that has to be done. Because when you look at like the Forbes billionaire list, mm-hmm. perspective starts to change on where standings really are. And some of the people that we actually look up, up to in the game, we start realizing, hey, they got a lot of work to do because a lot of people ain't there. But mm-hmm. are, we looking, are we basing there on monetary 
No, status. no, no, that's just an example. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, I, yeah. I, but I, I think that's, but, that's very important. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but I, don't, I, I don't know. I, when, when you said a solution or some form of remediation for this shit, right? Mm hmm To support what you're saying, the head, the heart, and the home. I call mm. it the three H's, right? Right. Oh, nice. So if you want to start with how you look at to fix any problem that we have ever, like not ever had, but the starting point, the head, right? If it's, if it, what comes out your mouth is what they say. It was in your heart already, right? right. So if the head, heart, if, 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 if what I think resides in these two places, and I said it in one, something I wrote before, if the head is above your heart for a reason, mm. right? right? It's there for a reason. That's right. why it's above your heart. Right. Because this is to be the final point of embarkation before the shit come out your mouth and you should know what to do. To support what he's saying, it has to start there first. So the self, head, heart, home, the home, because mm. that's where you build culture. The first form of culture, your first contact with culture is the culture of your house, right? Right. Right? And our culture has been not only divided. <laughs> broken homes. It's, bro it's divided, it's broken, and, 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 and like I said before earlier, there's no part-time solution for a lot of the lifetime diseases that plague us emotionally, spiritually, and in just a regular day-to-day -day life that we have fucking normalized to the point most black people and people of color need to go see a fucking shrink, bro. There's a lot yeah, of mental health issues, but we have been taught to just deal with it, be tough, fucking suck yeah. it up. Now, that yeah. I'll agree with. Like, right? it's so, almost, yeah. Yeah, he was so soft for going to a, yeah. to, to, to yeah, a so, psychiatrist. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anybody in here ever had therapy? I'm I'm actually about to start going. I haven't though, but I'm about to start going. Yeah, I, sat, I sat down. To keep it a buck, I might I need to down. sit on somebody's couch, what, but I haven't. It? <laughs> like, I, okay, I got a life coach, and for me that was kind of like therapy because I had to share a lot with her. I had to mm -hmm. tell her shit that I I wouldn't tell nobody else. Like, right. you know, I met this this chick that was kind of fugly last night. You know, we got drunk, we had sex in the bathroom, and condom popped. You know, <laughs> shit like shit like that. I had to, you know what I mean? To just to be honest with her, so that she could give me a proper assessment and tell me how to story? work on my shit. That's a real story, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Back away. Back yeah, away. Man. Don't do it. That's a real story. That's, that's a real <laughs> story. No, no, that's, that's it. it. But look, we, we, we sound like Marcus from the Tally Tally Perry shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait me to Don't wait me to You know what I'm saying? We, we started to have this conversation before um before everybody showed up on vices right. and like things that might run in your your family uh, and shit like that. that. And for me, drinking and women was it. Whenever my, I was at my lowest point, mm -hmm. I probably had the most chicks numbers in my phone. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because that was a distraction from everything. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn to kind of like make room for better. Yeah, I think the same with me. Like growing up, like women were more of an entitlement. Right. You know what I mean? Because that, that, like that's watching a my father we learn in the certain shit yeah. is almost like... Yeah. Yeah, like you just Trophy. you, just, it, it, you gotta have them at all time, and right. even if you got two or three, it don't matter. You a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. so I had to learn how to break break I, out I of that. I'm gonna say it's you know a lot because you know if we if you really dug into the roots of it, like yeah, that was a lifestyle that our ancestors. But like lived. like he was saying, but no, you at had some, to afford it. You at had some to be able point, to take care. You of had to be women. able to take care of them. You know what I mean? But like he was saying, sometimes you gotta break the mold. Sometimes. Right. Like, you got to look up, like, yeah, I could have three or four chicks every week or every other week, but shit is kind of whack now. You know what I mean? It's not like, a real connection. Yeah, like, I don't really know none of these bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, you right. start to say that to yourself, like, see, this is what me and him argue over <laughs> shit like this. <laughs> this, yo, listen, like, hold on, hold on, listen, hold on, 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 hold we will get into Just a whole and this is you don't want to do that. Say nothing. Anyway. Say nothing. 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 It was the matter with the Because this is how we did this how we differ. But at some point, you gotta break the trend and say, yo, you know what? I need somebody that really knows me and I know them. Mm -hmm. right. You understand? Like at yeah, some yeah. point in your life you gotta say that. Like, there's no worse feeling than being with a chick sitting next to her. She don't even really know you. You just fucking. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. might be going through a problem, you can't even talk to her about it. You understand? Like, that's a whack feeling to me. Yeah. Because it, it's like you're sharing 
something that, that with a hollow that with, should, with a hollow right, with yeah. a hollow body right. next to it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know, it's, you know it's, she doesn't you're, care you're giving energy uh, and you don't know what you're saying with it you know she don't care yeah. that's that's what's yeah. doing right. that's what's doing it that's what's doing and honestly like i want i wanted somebody that I was like you know what she know me i know her it is what it is she she's somewhat like me i'm somewhat like her we good right and I had to break the mold after him and, and stop looking at two, three chicks at a time for, you understand? Like, right. yeah. so you got to break that mold, I think, man. I know he, he differs, he we thinks differently, right. you know what I mean? But our, our own blessings. A million percent. We're doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing a lot. We do a lot. Function. Just to function, we do a lot. Like, right. just being men, like you said, we go through so much. We got racism. Mm -hmm. We got to be against the women is up against us. Like, we got so much just to be solid. Mm -hmm. Of course we're going to be. Uh, distracted and all we need. Well, you know, you, 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 you hunt, Until we you hunt. realize we the, only, we, the, we the biggest temple and the only thing we need to work on. Right. You, you wow. hunt. You, wow. But here's wow. the thing. Real and here, here's, here's the thing. This nigga right there are too many of us. There are too many of us who do not know ourselves. Talk about and it. And we're also not doing the work to get to know who we are. There are now way listen, too many listen, people. I know where you're going, man. I'm not. I'm not. Don't do this, man. Don't so, do this. So people need to know where he's going. I, I see the setup. Because I've been around right. this nigga, so I know the setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do this, man. Look at me. So, I, I know the setup. So you see the same cool, so I'm not even going to leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, leave that alone. And I can still make my point and not go in there. I wasn't even going to go in there. Go in the what? Because I'm lost. Y'all got your own conversation. Y'all have it. What I was going to say was. How many times have you met a dude, a chick, you point out something negative that they might do, or, you know, yo, that's kind of fucked up. They look at you and say, yo, that's just me. That's who I am. You got to mm. take me or leave me as I am. A, a lot sickness. of us, that's a crutch. It's a sickness. Well, you said a dude it, that says that to a chick? No, no. no we, so we, people say that, we say that, that that's who I am. Yeah. That's just me. That's what I do. That's, that's who I am. You got to take yeah. me or leave like, this is who I am. Give a fuck about if you, if you yeah. are not willing... Do, I'm not saying I'm not Why? saying you should I'm not saying oh, you, you don't? Should, I'm not saying you should strive for perfection. Yeah. But we should all be trying to be better. And there's too many of us who are happy where we are. Mediocrity. In the situation that we're in. Like if I I, <laughs> I feel like the same people who would vote for Donald Trump, mm. that common denominator of dumb, the average, the D student, there are way more of them than there are of one, two, three. For an entrepreneur who the, use, uses the sounds in his head to mm. create a fortune and create for his family. Right. Somebody who does it with words. Somebody who does it with words. Somebody who does it with... We, we have to understand that when we start speaking in these spaces, we are speaking, we are, we are breathing rare air. We are not the norm. And, what, and I don't say that to stand above them. I just say recognize that... Harlem. Welcome to Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little touchy culture. A little touchy culture. You know, we, we need that every now and then. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's, that's, that, he's part of what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> no, don't let him do it. Walk, walking, around yeah. with, walking around with a big speaker and no headphones on, I only have two questions to you. One, do, do, did your parent, who raised you? <laughs> and two, <laughs> two, two are they okay with being failures? No, 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 I can't no, say that. No, I can't say that. No. Because I can't, I can't I stand, I can't so, stand so, no, 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 I hear what you're saying, but, but I've seen like people, people walk down the street with a speaker playing good music and they'll, a crowd will start to follow. This is why we had that conversation yeah. in the store when I was like, yo, if we change this, yeah. I'm telling you, so many people are going to follow because people love music. They're attracted to it. And that the right dude, vibration that dude that will by gather the, people. That dude you know that I mean? walked by with the boombox with no headphones. He's trying to He loves music. Yeah. Yeah. He is yeah. trying to share it. To the point that he can't, he can't even make his trip home without music. Yeah. 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 Get some headphones, right, bro. Get some headphones. Yeah. Yeah. He don't even know what he's doing to us. Like, right. I'm not, try, I'm yeah, not yeah, trying yeah, to take music I'll away from him. Right. Get some headphones. Nah, I don't I don't think he's Nah, he want to hear it loud. I ain't mad at that. Turn up your headphones. No, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, like, until until you, got, you, got, you, you got something that you're doing and that music comes through and now we can't put this look, up on YouTube look, because what, the music no, just... No, if he had stopped look. outside, I would have threatened him. Now, look, but, but once, no. we, once we leave... But not. Once, once we leave... Yeah. Yeah. No, no, because... <laughs> <laughs> like, you violent. You could have just said, excuse me, brother, we work 
working. Instead, you're like, yo, you know better. Yeah. Yeah. You're from over here. Right. It's, the, it's trying to bring But look, my once we leave here, I'm getting two, in the car, I'm putting the learn. windows you know down, that, right? and I'm blasting music. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I just, that's, I like and you, and you, and you, and you coming and going. And I'm probably going to disturb some people going short. down the block, but right. at the end of the day, I just love music. Like, okay, he loves music. Right. But, but, but I, I don't feel no way about it. I like shit like that. But I don't have to deal with what you love. Why that's, not? That's the, because I don't. I shouldn't have to. We out in the world. Because that's no, the thing. Yeah, respect. but no. But exactly. You know what, what I'm saying? You know what so you gotta tell me if I'm in the car, I can't listen to shit as loud as I want in to. In your car? Yeah. With the windows down? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, but the thing he said, the thing he said plainly is, homeboy, I know I'm going to disturb some people. That's it. Yeah, but bro, why? Why is that okay that you're gonna? Disturb some people, like, dude, nigga, hey, this is real. Some life, people will be disturbed. Right, right. right. So this shit go back. You. But at the end of the day, I'll this is be at look. Our when we too this what is what I'm saying to you. I can't be mad for the dude yelling outside my window. Yes, you can. I can't be mad. Why him. can't you? Look, I can't be. It's real life. This is life. We and deal shut the fuck up in real life. We got we got to deal with the variables that come in life. All of this, all of this sounds real cool. So you got a one-year-old upstairs sleeping. I did. Yeah. And then somebody want to yell outside your window for I, I'm nothing. I'm speaking from experience, Bro, of course. shut right. the fuck up. This what is life, man. What's wrong with you? Right. Shut up. Nah, the energy. See, you let See, that, that that's, energy dictate. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, no, no, no. That's that, 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 you can't give a person that energy. For instance, somebody was sleeping in front of my building. I mean, straight out, a white man. You know, mm-hmm. a white man. Yeah. I bought him something to eat and get him out of there. I could have told him, yo, get the fuck up, kick this boy. Could have did anything to that white man. Yeah, yeah, Get him out of here. Get, right. You know yeah. what I did? Yo, bro, come on. Nigga, yo, yo, bro. You, got, you hungry? Let me, come on, it's going to take you to sandwich. Like, I could have just brought this work what he was doing and then just went about my, nah, this got to be problems. I need my blessings. You know why that's energy, right. you know, energy, you know, right. You know why that, you know that's, that's good. That's good, good that you know that. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even mad at it. You know why that's different for me? Because sleeping, he's not bothering anybody. Mm. Nah, you are. What if he's, he's blocking his shit? Step out of the way, you know. You can't. And, and then no, I don't know why. We can end this. We can end this whole that whole debacle. Yeah, we get off into the weeds. Right, get into the weeds. Right, the weeds. Right, get into the weeds. But everybody's a citizen of one thing: the earth. If you right. want to take it back on some other shit, everybody's what the oh, fuck man, they call. We about to go back billions of years. Let's get back to the news. Let's get back to the news. Let's get back to the news. That's why y'all all snapping and bugging up right now. Nah, 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 nah. Years ago, I realized the the influence of what a popular rapper could do. Mm-hmm. I watched the man tell everybody, "Stop wearing jerseys." And guess what? Wear button ups. Everybody stop wearing jerseys. I ain't stop wearing my shit. I love AI, man. You, but you probably wore them in the house after now that. I wore that shit outside. And I, my stupid yeah, ass yeah, had that. Yeah. Remember what I said about rare air? Yeah, rare air. Yeah. had the fucking right. headband on too. Yeah. Right. What but, I said about rare air? We, we yeah, sitting in the room. For, here, here's, but, but this is what I'm saying. Let me continue. Got, 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 got. So, but I so when I see, um, I see what he stood for. And I see how many CEOs came up in hip hop, how many artists wanted to be CEOs after right. that. Mm-hmm. Whether they were capable of doing it or not, right. they reached further right. okay. than they were reaching before. Right. Yeah. And a lot more millionaires were made to mm-hmm. kind of tip the scale a little bit more in, in, the in our favor. The ambition was there for that. Right. right. When I look at the music now, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing a, a digression. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta we gotta see who's gonna who's gonna rise from the ashes. We don't know yet. It's too early. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like but in another is, five to ten years. Serve the common denominator. The lowest common denominator is what he's talking about. Where the music is, it's easier to appeal to those people because yeah. that's always gonna be the. We're back to McDonald's again. No, Way again. easier to snag you with McDonald's than it is to talk you into going to some place where the food is actually gonna be good for you. Well, you it's have to change, but you gotta change the, the standard of taste, Ex- which is all I've ever been saying. My standards have ne- don't drop because they don't change with the times, right? It's easier. If I was a... We used to, we, I used to play this game at the source all the time. Let's say you, you're universal. You're Interscope. You're Atlantic. Right. How easy do you think it is to find an artist with the artistry of an Andre 3000? Not easy at all. Not easy at all, right? It's going to be fucking difficult to find that guy. Right. right. Uh, uh, the lyricism of a little Wayne. Not, not the, the drive in the mind of a Jay-Z. Right? Super difficult to find those guys. Right. How 
difficult is it to find? I don't I don't want to slander nobody, but I mean a that, little. That means you're gonna slander somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't even have to go, I don't even have to shout a little. name out. How how hard is it to find a little? Let's not it's here, not. Here's, uh, what, here's what we're discussing. Let, let, let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. It's not hard at all to find those guys. If you are if we are the three labels and our and our goal is money, not culture. It's right. money. Making this thing cool that I can replace at the drop of a hat is beneficial. It's called continuity of business. Yeah. Thank and you. there's no single points of failure, which is called SPOF, right? No right. single points so of failure. So it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's not in my best interest mm -hmm. to cultivate a man with the power to tell everybody to stop wearing this, start wearing that. Because I, when, he, when he knows his own worth, I can't replace him. I think when he, he decides that he like wants that what analogy. he's due, like when, he, when he turns around and says, yo, I generated $24 million for you in the space of three months, and you paid me four. I'm swamped, and I can't get another one of him. I can't find another one of that guy. It's going to take me years to find that guy. However, if I make this thing cool, this thing that I can replace at the drop of a hat and working at the source, I used to see it all the time. But, I saw where they push. Right. I think yeah. you're talking. Right. I think you're talking about the music model of over ten years ago. No, that, that okay. model doesn't really even not. exist no more because I'm, I'm really a label not. labels don't make artists anymore. They sign pre-made artists. Mm. Right. But, you understand? But who are but they these pre-made artists are riding a formula. A formal way. No, right. No. Who are they? Signing? No. You, no. You're right. But what I'm saying is, the fans are picking them ahead of time before they get to the label. So the labels are just saying, oh, you got a crazy following. I'll put some money behind your shit. So that model of the labels grooming these idiotic artists, no, it don't but, happen. But, 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 no, but, you but, don't but, have no, to groom. Sometimes, sometimes, that's, what sometimes, sometimes that's smoke and mirrors. You don't have to groom anybody. No, no, out there. Do, do, do it's easy to find. No, you don't no, have to groom no, you're shit. right. But what I'm saying is somebody, these mysterious people, are listening to this guy's music. Whether you like him or not, he's getting millions of streams. Because we right. took, they we are, took they it out of the hands of the connoisseurs and put it in the hands of the consumers, and it was always going to go this way. Technology did that. It, whatever, whatever did it. I have, I have a theory, but I'm not even going to say it but on this camera. Is, look, this, 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 what, whoever did it, why are you not going to say it on camera? Because I don't want to. <laughs> because that'll be a whole different thing. That'll be a whole different thing. You two demonetize me. At the end of the day, time, time, time. Time. The end of the day this is, this is music, time. and nobody is nobody's putting a gun to somebody's head and say stream, to say stream this. People are doing that a free choice. Right. We right. have to give them that credit. Right. Little such and such is hot because. Five million people love him. Because right. he's and right. we have to learn how to live with how, that. No, 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 no. We don't. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, <laughs> we don't have to find no, a way to live with that? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> no. So we're going to stop people from liking this guy? No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm saying if Lil is telling my son to go kill somebody, kill himself uh, by overdosing on drugs, or what? No, I, I no, I don't have to All live right. with that. Okay. I don't have okay, to live listen. with that. We're being so, hypocritical, though. No, no, no. I'm we're not. being hypocritical. Yes, we are. Want to know why? Because we survived the generation of seeing certain things being being pushed through the music yeah. and what happened. Okay, listen. So imagine who whoever raised you. Imagine they said, "Yo, you can't listen to this. It's too violent." How does that How does that change your future? From what you are now, what you evolved to now. Mm. Yeah, you went through rough patches, but you got here. I just saw myself as President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what I'm saying? I just saw like, myself as President like, Obama. The, the, the way I look at it with my kids, yeah. Yeah. if they do something I don't like, I got to sit back and put myself in that position at 13, 14 and say, yo, you know what? If my parents would have stopped me from this, it changes the whole trajectory of my life. Let uh, me chill for a minute and see what happens. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe this is their path. I you know get what I'm saying? you on certain mm -hmm. decisions, mm -hmm. but when your daughter's walking around the kitchen and she reaches up to the stove, you don't stop to let her make that decision. You uh -oh. don't sit, sit back and say, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if she's going to make the right decision. Nobody does that. You did have to get burned. Yeah. I come from my house. Yo, come, no, come on, son. Not right now. Not right now, Bob. Not right now. Not right now. Your parents messed up. Your parents are messed up, bro. That's messed up. Look, 
Now listen, one. You know what I mean? Wonder, you know, listen, one. But what you're saying? You, you ever walk near a window? Hey, listen. listen it was a, what you got a fool? What you're oh, saying? Nah, that's not it. I'm saying, what I'm you saying gotta sit on somebody's couch. No, what Mavis you're saying like, is something. What you're saying is something definite. Like if some, if a kid is gonna reach up to grab the stove, that they're they're definitely gonna get burned, right? Right. What we're saying is hypothetical. If they listen to this song, it might not fuck their life up. Even yeah. if they memorize the lyrics, why take the it chance by taking the gamble? Why you never know? Why it, gamble? Because look, on one side there might be something beautiful. Mm. You just never know. Like you understand? Like look, let's just say Cardi's parents would, or Cardi's moms or whatever, would have been like, "Yo, I don't want you to dance. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that." That changes her whole history, her whole background. What makes her her? You understand what I'm saying? You sometimes you gotta walk through the fucked up shit. To be a better person, you have to. I, I don't. No. I, I don't I, believe. I, you don't believe that. I, I don't believe in self-inflicted issues. Yeah. I don't believe. But, I don't but believe. But listen, when you do things, when you do things, you don't know what these are bad decisions. No, no. Yeah, like that she was forced, but not everybody gets out of that. Right. Not so why no, put listen, everybody? Not in some people you know choose I mean? that life because yeah. they feel like. I, I take care of myself. I hold myself down. I do this. I've seen people go the hardest way possible just to say that they've been through something. I don't know they anybody like that. A, yeah. I, dude, I got seven email inboxes full of rappers who tell me about oh, the yeah, war story. That, that's rap story. No, 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 that these people put themselves in these situations because they wanted to be real. No, but this is what they wanted. They this wanted, they're they wanted you. a real they're life. Not really doing I don't want to listen to no, 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 lying to you. I don't want to listen there to There are my, people doing that. No, there's some. What I'm saying, the niggas no, there are you? a lot. Yo, there are a lot. I'm uh, not just talking listen, about let me, let my personal. There, there, there was a lot. video that went viral yeah. with this kid in uh, Times Square. He had a red rag. Red or blue rag hanging oh, out yeah, of his pocket. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I understand. Okay, he had a red or blue rag hanging out. And, and I think some Crips. Oh, he was Crips. So he was Spider-Man or some shit? He was Crips. Spider-Man and little Crips ran down. Yeah, they ran no, no, down. No, no, no. It was blood. Bloods that ran down. No, Crips niggas Crip ran down. Crips niggas ran down. He was acting blood. And yeah. they was like, yo, what, what you doing with that, with that rag? And he said, yo, I'm an artist. I'm an artist. You look at the music being made today. There's kids out there that feel like they gotta join a gang to be a rapper. Yeah, I get that. This is what I'm, this is this is the prevention that's what I'm, that's that I'm right. talking Listen, about. We all grew Let's up with we all grew up with followers. That. We all right. had followers that we grew up with. All of us. We we knew a follower. You had to. You didn't know some a follower. Of them, some of them yeah. dudes ain't here. Right, so what I'm saying to you, those dudes, they're always gonna be like that. N nobody's changing them. They'll lie for no reason. They'll follow niggas for no... You understand? Like, they're just like that. You can't save everybody. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a huge believer in that philosophy. I'm a huge... But my, my whole thing this year has been, I'm not arguing with nobody Harriet Tubman would have shot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I like that. One, one, of my, one of my favorite <laughs> things to say. I'm not arguing with nobody that Harriet Tubman would have shot. Like, get the fuck out of my face. I'm not arguing. <laughs> oh, Here, here's, here's an example. How did you a, even for, know? For, for that specific thing. <laughs> I was I was uh I was at 4040, right? Mm -hmm. I was at 4040 one night. I'm across the street waiting for my homeboy to pull up, right? I see one dude come outside and he's on the phone. Another dude comes out, stands next to him, goes, yo, can I get a cigarette? Mm -hmm. He goes, yeah, no problem. Gives him a cigarette. He lights it, they sitting there smoking together, right? I saw this one car spin the block like three times. Not even gonna mm -hmm. shout it out. Spun the block like three times. Last time, went this way, went past me. And I heard <laughs> footsteps. You know me. What the fuck? Get to the left, right? right. I, I go up against the building. Mm. They run across the street. The dude who was on the phone, they were looking for. What's up now, motherfucker? Banged them up. Security just closed the door, got back inside. No, no liability, no nothing. Yeah. They just got back inside, closed the door. Mm. Banged them up for a couple, like, good three, four hard shots. Dude next to him smoking a cigarette, standing there like, oh shit, with the look on his face, with the oh shit face. Yeah. What the fuck? It happened super quick. Homeboy turns around and was like, yeah, you too. And before he could say, I don't know this nigga. Right. 
knocked off the mount. Came running back towards me because so the car was behind. Two me. niggas got beat up by one nigga. No, no, it was like, it was like two dudes. Oh, okay, okay. It was yeah. Two dudes. They beat the first dude up, okay. and then they turned around. The homeboy smoking a cigarette yeah. and let him have it. And while homeboy was still kicking the shit out of the original dude, the other dude was pounding this dude out. Right. They run, they run past me, and all I hear is, "Yeah, you and your man, you and your man, both y'all told you on sight, you and your man." One of those dudes was not his man. Had it coming. The other one just wanted to smoke a cigarette. When was this? A couple years ago. A couple yeah. years ago. A couple, couple, couple <laughs> years ago. Wait, was you one of, you was the one niggas that ran down on the niggas? Hold on. It just sounded so, so It sounded kind of familiar. You telling that, oh, you telling that story. You telling that story like Fat Joe, man. Yeah, details is crazy, man. Yeah. The, point, the, point, the point of the story is, the point of the story is, it's not always going to be the follower who gets touched. Sometimes it's the dude who just didn't know that he was standing next to one. Oh, a nigga should have had his own cigarette. Word. Yeah, that happens, Word. Moral of the that story, happens. get your own cigarette, nigga. That's, that's, the, only, that's the moral of this story. Stop yeah, asking for bro, cigarettes, you'll be all right. Wrong place, all right. wrong time. All right, without saying too much, I think that um, there's strategies to kind of like playing that type of stuff out of position. And we were talking about it. What draws attention, appealing to, you know, the base vibes of everybody, the drama. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Royce and Lupe. Huh. I'm going to get into this my. one, huh? Yeah, definitely. They've been going back and forth. How y'all feel about it? It's borderline disappointing, but it's kind of exciting. Disappointed in one way. Tell me, tell me why you feel disappointed. Yo, yo, and don't, no, don't be feeling like, like, Why is it like like disappointing to you? It's, on, man. Yeah. it's, it's disappointing <laughs> to me because they're two of the better, yeah. yeah, two intelligent right. dudes who have this, even Lupe with his discipline, the martial arts, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Royce from where he started to where he is now, like the accolades he's getting. Both of these dudes are seen as as elite. pivotal elite yeah. level lyricists, which is why it's a little disappointing that these two dudes can't see eye to eye, right? It's exciting. Which it didn't start off that way. No, they no, had a podcast together. They were like, no. they were, but, but it's exciting because it's the opportunity to see two of our elites in their bag. And as a connoisseur of hip hop who, who champions the elites, I'm never going to turn down the opportunity to right. see two of our finest titans go at it. Show off. Yeah. Right. And, and show off and show out and give an example to these other dudes who we talk about who can't keep up. Young man, this is the bar. Next time you decide to diss somebody, it needs to sound something like this. And look, this, is, this has always been my beef, man. It's like, who the fuck is anybody to tell anybody else the bar? Oh, no, I'm not. Nah, nah, look what, look what I'm saying. It's like, 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 it's why? I just I respect Royce Why? as a lyricist, as an artist. I just don't want because I feel like his style of rap, they're great for projects. I love to hear projects mm -hmm. from Royce. You understand? Because they're well thought out projects. They're do what do you he, mean? Get, he get busy. He get busy. You mean his albums? I like his. You don't like Royce albums? Um, aside from Allegory, what? you don't like the joints he did with Cream. I, 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 I think the joints he did with Cream. Every album, he pretty much has songs about. Killing rappers? Ooh, Royce? 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 Trust the shooter? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty Ooh, sure. Nah, you gotta he, know, what he, happened to songs like yo, Cocaine, yo, where you talking about no, his pop shit? No, I, 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 love, I love all of them. Right. 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 But this guy's home. But this guy's, this guy's part of a group called Slaughterhouse, right? Yeah. yeah, but we know they, they meant, you know they meant lyrical, lyrical slaughter. Lyrical slaughter, right? Yeah, lyrical slaughter, of course. And this is why I'm looking like, okay, I've been hearing about it. It's like somebody rapping or telling you about their gun. Like, yo, I got this gun. It's like the nicest gun in the world. It's shooting. My aim is sharp. And then finally, they're in a position to use it. And you're like, 
All right, bring out the gun. Bring out the gun you've been button. telling me about. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you done see. sold it to me album people after are, album. People are you got them this to, gun, you asking now them I to, get to see the gun. You asking them to bring out the gun for a, knife, for, for a fight with a knife. Mm. Lupe is not a fight. No, with a knife. I, no, no. Look what I'm saying to you. Like oh. you, no, meaning Lupe like, is not no, a knife no. Fight. Listen what I'm yeah. saying to you. Listen what I'm saying to you. And I, this is no disrespect to Lupe. You uh, don't need all the slaughterhouse to handle Lupe. You don't need Joel and Crook to handle Lupe. You don't need them. What about for Mickey? That. What Royce about can Mickey? do that himself. What about Mickey? Yeah, but he's not. Huh? He's what about not Mickey? Doing it. Listen, man. And maybe I'm biased because Joel is my homeboy. <laughs> Mickey and Mickey and Joel, in my opinion, that's not even a match. That's not even fair no. to Mickey. I'm just keeping it Whoa. real with you. I, 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 I am I keeping it real with you. Whoa. And niggas can I take it however they want it. Jo- Joel is my I, man. Yeah, Joel, Whoa. listen. Joel is battle tested when it comes to that. You saw what he that's did with Kendrick. That's a fact. You fact. saw. I come agree. on, man. But, Joel but, is. Where's Mickey Facts? Like he's actually battle. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking you know about I mean? like, battle actually, on a stand. I'm and and, 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 and wreck shit. Like, let's not... We okay, don't, okay don't so do let me ask you a question. Now, let's be clear. Let me ask you a question. You let, can't let, be, let just, let and you just cannot establish be, something. You let can't be political on this. When lyricism, when lyricism left hip-hop and became scarce, wow. it ran over the battle rap. The things that these low-level battle rappers are saying mm-hmm. is shit that I feel like people in hip-hop on high levels are not saying. Like, I'm, battle I'm, rap, you you like you yes, gotta be like a little brainiac we, to but, catch everything we also, that somebody we also is saying. We understand that you so can for be Mickey, a, for Mickey right? to, to enter this world and excel. And excel. Who you think wins with Mickey I, and Joel? Mickey and Joel. Don't give me the political. Give me what I'm you, not what you me, feel. I'm, 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 I'm from Brooklyn. I'm, I'm literally Joel, sitting I'm here. I'm from Brooklyn. Different. I'm different. Joel, I'm different. More, bro. Joel more the streets, man. I'm for the streets, bro. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, listen, no, 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 don't give me the pull You want to say Mickey, that's why you're saying you're not no, sure. No, I'm I'm no, I'm not saying you're What did you think about race? No, 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 hold on. The whole reason I stopped the conversation is because you said it's not even fair to Mickey. It's not. I don't see it that way. Listen, mm. I'm around Joel it. about I see, three, four, I see two dudes like, Tyrus. yeah, I, I'm not sitting here telling listen, you. I know what you a, see. For me, that's a coin flip. I know what like, you I'm see. Telling I'm telling you, you what I hear. One way or the other. What you yeah. see and what I hear is two different things. I'm right. telling you what I've heard for years from this man. Bro. Different. I'm telling you what I've... I've been around thousands of artists. You, you heard this. about the Cousin. gun. Cousin. That's what you heard. You heard about Not the gun. Heard. I seen Yo, him shoot gun the gun. Shining. I seen, no. <laughs> I've seen him bust off the gun several times. All right. But not several to, but times. Not to hit nobody. I wasn't even going. Not to hit but nobody. Not to hit nobody. I can't do it. You know, but you know his aim is perfect, though. <laughs> no, but you do know his aim is perfect, though. I've never seen him in the range. You know what I'm saying, I've seen him in the range. Me seen him in the range. It's not like being on the street. Listen what I'm, you but, know you, what I mean? but you know his aim you know don't miss. Mean? When that when that hoodie's <laughs> creeping behind the car. And listen, again, some people, have some some people shoot like this. Yeah. <laughs> some people look, shoot like look, this. And you again, know, and again the airplugs in. And, 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 like, and, and I'll say it again because I know people catch the middle of an interview. This is no slight to Mickey to, to, to Mickey Fax. I yeah. think Mickey, Mickey Fax is a dope artist. Facts. But what I'm saying about Joel Ortiz, he is different. He is yeah. not like the. Trust bro, me, money. I'm telling bro, you, bro. bro. You're not. You, you're, hold this, on. And this is what I've been saying. You're not giving me to disagree. We just keep hearing I'm not, about. I'm not disagreeing I'm, I'm with you. We just keep hearing about. <laughs> it. I'm not. I'm not. Well, we don't. No, I know what he's trying to do. I know what he's trying to do. We don't get to see it. I know what he's trying to do. I know what he's trying to. No, we had like a we had like a two hour conversation with Joel the other day, and Joel was saying why he doesn't want to step into that arena because he's saying he. Creatively, he's at a different place. Mm. He wants but he to. Also he, he wants to add on to his legacy, not battle rap. Gotcha. But he yeah. also said he felt like it was two fair ones. What do you mean? And not. Oh yeah, right. And not Royce. He said jumped. right, exactly. He said he didn't feel the need to gang up on Mickey Fax and, and Lupe, because that's what it would be. And and my Did, response know, to that was, you guys, of course, slaughterhouse. He is gaslighting his shit. I don't, no, yeah. no, no, but realistically, bro, realistically. Yeah. Are you going to call yourself murder, death, homicide, and make love songs all day long? Mm-hmm. You're not, right? Mm-hmm. You're not going to do that. But then new, I new song, anymore, Touch My right? Heart by Murder, Death, Homicide. Nobody's yeah, doing that. I get that. it, but I don't, think that's the, that. I don't think that's what's happening. I just think he's saying, I don't got shit to prove to these niggas. I know I can do what I need to do when the time calls for it. But it's, it's not he, about 
proven. But he's saying the same thing you proving. said earlier when nobody was listening. What's that? You said if it wasn't here, you're not doing it. If it's not Fair there? Enough. If it's not his You heart. think it's not there? No, you said you said you, you, you think won't, you said you don't you do things out of the passion, right? Listen, Royster Five Nine has been going live twenty four hours a day <laughs> since Listen, this shit happened. Not, I, not, I think there's a lot of passion there, bro. I think there's a lot of passion, and instead of going live, he should be in the booth with it. That's how I feel. I'm you know saying, I guarantee you that man is still making record after record every day, whether we see it or not. He oh, loves music too much. That ain't nothing. He right. loves music too Absolutely. much, man. But 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 for me, this is an opportunity to see. Masters you at work. Yeah, you want to see it. Anytime that there's a war, you want to see it. Anytime that there's a war, technology jumps because both both sides are working to outdo the but other. But even side. like jo- yeah, yeah. even like so, Joel said, he so, said he don't want to do it now because he feels like he would just be doing it just to do it. Nobody said his name. Nobody called him out and said, "Yo, Joel is this. Joel is that." He would almost be. It would be like no. What you said was, I dare somebody to say my name. He is hyping it, yo! What he said was, I dare somebody to say my name. That's what he said. I dare somebody to say my name. I dare you somebody. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. He's done kidding this shit. I'm just, no, it's not about. He's nice enough to say I'll kill you, though. I will kill you. Like, I'll pick you out and I'll kill you. He's nice enough to say that. But, but, but how much do we miss just these. Lyrical competition. I missed the hell out of like, like, let's be real. I, I, Nas, I Nas was on the decline. Right. Hold this them, and we got a classic album. Aside from the, aside from Ether, right? We got a classic album out of Nas that he wasn't delivering before. Then we got a, another classic out of Jay that he wasn't delivering. We got before. a lot of classics you know out of Jay, man. We can't say he mm-hmm. got a lot of classics out of Jay. No, but we, we can't. We also can't. Say Reasonable that one doubt. Put the battery in the other one. Hard knock life. One, right. One fuel the other. Yeah, I agree right. with that. What did I, what right. did I say and when this is, whole conversation started? It's a chance to see two elites go. Like I would love, I would love to see this. Just for the dis- it ain't got to be no beef for the sport. They ain't got to throw hands for the sport. But I would love to see two dudes who are so crazy with the pen, mm. give it up and put something on paper that we can have from here Yo, on out and look, set I, a standard and set a bar and make a mark. I look, love that. <laughs> I just want to say, <laughs> he's selling this shit again. Listen, man, y'all yeah, been man. talking about these <laughs> guns this for say, years, man. <laughs> man. Don't do it, man. Yeah. Don't, don't do that, man. I, 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 I don't want to hear another bar about, I'm, to about to I'm the best MC if you not willing to put in the work, bro, mm. that's not what we do over but, here. But is, we battle, put in the is work, battling son. putting in the work, you think? Huh? You think battling is putting in the work? I, I think, think, I think battling right is right doing now. a lot of things. I think for right. one, for one, um, Lupe, Royce, mm. this is something we didn't expect. Right. Everybody's paying attention to it. I'm seeing bloggers that nobody used to watch. Right. Getting mad views because they're reporting on the shit. So there is, like, people are... There's an interest. Yeah, there's there. an yeah. interest. Right, right. You know what I mean? And if your fans are the lifeblood of your success, yeah, I, I get it. Move forward. I get move it. Forward. But and, then, and, and now we're in this is a privileged situation where there's not going to be no drama. Ain't nobody right. pulling up with the chopper over, over none of this. You know what I right. mean? Right. We're going to get lyrical, lyrical displays of mastery. Right. And, and no bad, bad side to it, no right. downside right. to it. You know what I mean? Did, didn't Lupe? I happened to be scrolling one day, I guess. And he uh, he made a it, diss record. He was he made a couple records, but he also said it was a it was a a battle form for lyricists. Which one is that? He said it wasn't. He didn't want to do it on Smack. He didn't want to do it on any other platform. It, I but Lupe wanted to battle. I don't think he should. Wait, Lupe wanted to battle? Yeah, he's in care. Like he yeah. wanted to get in the ring and battle type no, no, shit? No, he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do oh, that. Oh, he don't yeah. want to do that. He didn't want to do that. He wants to do it where it, where it is now. He well, he, uh, yeah, but he honestly shouldn't do that. Lupe's a huge artist. Why would you well, want to... No, no, well, no you think that's a, it's him. a huge risk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. At mm. that point in his career, it's like, why do that and, and, and potentially shame yourself? No, nobody's talking about... On a jump, stage. I'm talking about on a no, stage. No, no, he's saying he didn't want to do that. I think you would do that do because that. you got the balls to do it. Yeah, but it could t- could it, it could turn out bad. It could turn out bad for you, though. That's where the balls come from. That's what it, that's, you know. Bravery! That's where the balls come from. Gotta it's like, it. look, I think, I think Joe Buttons is a dope rapper, but yeah. the battle platform wasn't for him. Mm.
I think Joe was just he yeah. would he, he, he didn't would, understand the performance side of it. Yeah, he could have You have to really be a performer when yeah, you do that. It's a skill set that you gotta have. No, I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying a lot of people probably look at that and say, I don't want that to happen to me, and then I get judged based off of that. But but, but again, I I think you your success and and listening to listening to you talk. I don't think you would base what's going to happen to you off of what happened to somebody else. No, no, no. I'm too competitive, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So you're saying but, they're not competitive. <laughs> but, for some, but for somebody that, that's c- kind of unsure, they might do that. Right. And so look, it comes down to ball. Look, let's just say, it comes down to ball, Bravery. which is basically. Yeah. Bravery. 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 Y'all are selling. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are really selling. Don't let the top shit go out the window when it's time to be brave. I'm mm. just, yeah, and that's pretty mm. much it. I can jump in the ring and act like I have a fight, bro, but when it's time to get fight back, after you get beat the fuck up, it's different. Mm. Right. Nigga, I tell, like, I tell niggas all the, like, you, you know I used to, like, fucking hit the heavy bag, hit fucking gloves and shit like that, but when it's time to spar and you have a live body standing in front of you, it's that different. Yeah, 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 it is. Right, it's it different. Is. All the shit you it thought is. you was going to do, it you're is. not doing that. Nigga, just throwing hooks and shit, and you standing there, you yeah. like, oh, shit, this ain't the bag no more, nigga. I got to, yeah, I'm like, getting hit now. Let me explain this to you. Battle rap is the same way. Your first time never might not never be like your second time. Your first right. time, you might have the jitters, but the second time... Now, what I'm saying is, this, like, certain battle rappers that's probably battling for the first time, they probably practice in the mirror at home, yeah. rapping back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. They don't take into consideration that, okay, the crowd might cut me exactly. off at this point. Exactly. I, I probably can't get this line out. The nigga I'm battling might and, have his finger in my face. Some crazy shit might be happening. And I will happening. always say, if you're going to jump into this thing, just like um, Henry Ford's approach to, to, to succeeding was, all right, I know cars. But I don't know business. So mm. I'll recruit someone who's an right. expert. Mm. Bring them on my team. Outsource. Right. Third party. Yeah. And I've never understood why certain people who came in didn't sit down with actual battle rappers. Pride. That's a but fact. Selfish. Pride. No, 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 no. Pride. Pride in you. Pride. But that pride will get you killed. Yeah. It always does. You know what I mean? Um, That's a fact. Are Conor you... McGregor didn't cross over into boxing and say, oh, I'm not going to get a boxing coach. He didn't right. do that. He went out there, he got one, he figured it out. Okay, all right. Now I know I can't kick him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, I gotta yeah, keep yeah. my legs down. Yeah. And that's that. Still got beat up. He got beat up, but. Nah, but he put himself in a better position to win. That's a oh, fact. Financially that's and, that's and, and I mean, financially, of course. Yeah, I'm oh, talking yeah, about yeah, as far as. Facts, facts. And facts. the influx of attention that these, these conflicts get, like, I'd rather the attention be on this facts. than two drill rappers. Killing each other's homies constantly. Yeah. And then people following suit behind that because they connected to it by some weird way. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. weird way. Right. We connected all types of ways. Yeah. Right. Like, 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 like how, many, back in the day how many I less lie. deaths yeah. would there be Without if it. drill rappers perform their battle things like, like at a concert together? As weird as it sounds, it wouldn't stream and sell as much. The reason why I say that is this. People are following the storyline of murders that's happening. Like yeah. this crew killed this crew. They made a song. That they made a song about it. I'ma listen to it. Yeah. Then they make a response. That that shit gets a ton of streams because it's about the situation that happened. You understand? So it's like, it's like a soap opera. Yeah. And niggas is watching it through the videos. And, mm-hmm. and that's telling. Like this dude killed this dude's man. He made yeah. a song about it. I'm smoking on this nigga. That shit got 20 million streams. This nigga killed yeah, his other yeah, man. Yeah. We right. smoking on him and him. Yeah. Oh, this shit got 40 million streams. Yeah. However. Jeezy, Gucci man, did a versus, nobody got hurt, nobody got killed, and that shit probably had the same amount of streams. You're right, but, get, but look what happens. Look how, look how much suckers there are out there, right? Mm. Jeezy and Gucci do that. Jeezy does the man thing and goes there. Gucci's talking crazy. Gucci's just eat, I mean, Jeezy's eating that, right? Niggas online, yo, this nigga Jeezy pussy, he this, he that. For doing what? For doing the stand-up man shit and being like, you know what, I'm putting that behind me. But the I narrative heard more people is, say Jeezy won that. No, I'm not talking about the battle. I'm just talking yeah. about the situation of, of Gucci saying, yo, we smoking on oh, your who, man and yeah. this, that, and the third, yeah. and Jeezy yeah. standing there. Niggas right. like, yo, yeah. he pussy, he didn't see that. Right. If that's the narrative, how are we supposed to get better? But it's not the narrative. And people that's, that's what, that picture. That's what Jeezy was saying. He was like, yo, bro, you know how many people saw what we went through 
and emulated that. So they said that I agree with that. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm doing it this fix. way. It's healthy for the well, culture. The it's healthy for the culture. You know what I mean? Let, let that go. You still on that old shit. You still on that dumb shit. I think that's where we need to take in, it. I'm going to say something in Gucci's defense. And I'm not a huge fan. Mm -hmm. I, get, I, I know the defense. Yeah, if somebody yeah. sends somebody at you, mm -hmm. take your life. You right. never forget that. Well, matter of fact, technically, I don't know the facts. I'm not qualified to say this. Once Allegedly. Again. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Allegedly. And the person who allegedly came after, let's say, uh, Gucci, Jeezy ne necessarily tell him to do it. Yeah. It wasn't a direct order, right? Mm -hmm. Right? No, somebody, a fan, a friend of whatever, somebody right. affiliated by like whatever, right. however, however they felt connected wanted to carry this out because they wanted to pledge allegiance to somebody who was allegedly in power that they thought they could connect themselves to. Right. But a true warrior yeah. doesn't well, my revel thing is how can, in the death of his enemies. And we just talked about mm. That's a, fact. a standard. You talked about standards, right? We talked all talked about being in a place of peace and et cetera. And, and I agree. But if somebody comes to take that's a that's a feeling bro, you never bro. forget. Bro. I, yeah, so, yeah, I get it. No, 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 no. I get it. But, but, no, no, no. but I get it. Not, but not, if you not, ever really like did something like that? Don't do a stage with you. That's not the feeling you have after. It's not a happy okay, feeling. Say it's not something to celebrate. It's an old saying. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? The axe forgets. The, the tree, tree always remembers. remembers. Mm. Simple okay. put. <laughs> Again, they had the verses. <laughs> yeah. They had the verses. Yeah. Nothing happened. It was a beautiful thing for hip hop. It was. Nobody That's healthy for the culture. J. Cole did somebody. And get the same amount of streams. Nobody dies. It's not even violent. Did J Cole do somebody? Oh, did yeah. Who? Cool. Did he? Who like the little pony? Didn't he do a song with little pony? Just get this he, 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 he pissed on him first. He read his whole career from top to bottom. He pissed on him, yeah. and every and, and the streams were through the roof. That's my whole point. There are alternatives. There are ways that this can happen without yeah. it going in that direction, and it can be. It can happen with artistry. It can happen with lyricism. I agree. Right. Which is why. I think we're hoping to see, as far as Royce and Lupe, I would love it's a, it's if that's a, I'm hoping to see it, a, a whole new era. Way. Look, it's a thin of, line. Of this. It's a thin line because, like with Royce and Lupe, one wrong thing gets said and it becomes personal. And you might not even know you said some personal shit. Right. Yeah. And I think that's what happened with Royce and Lupe. It's like, when I, when I watch that situation, it's like, it blew up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. One minute they was joking around, next minute the podcast canceled. Right. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what, the, what happened? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Here's hoping two grown men with equal things to lose don't take it there. Right. And, 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 and are happy to humiliate one another or humiliate, one humiliates the other. Listen, as artists, as artists, we all have egos. I know you got an ego. I know you got an ego. I know I got one. I'm not saying it's through the roof. What I'm saying is... If I'm on Instagram and even though I put up something, I, I could have 700 positive comments. On the 701st, if the dude writes, yo, all this shit sound the same, fuck him. I have to respond to that because of my ego. You understand? You no, I'm not saying I have to. Right. What I'm saying is me. I'm talking about me personally. Right. I have to because of my ego. Right. I know it's not a good thing, but what I'm saying is we're in a very egotistical business, uh -huh. whether we like it or not. Right. Yeah. We rap about egotistical shit. I have more jewelry than you. I got more money than you. My house is bigger. Right. My car is faster. Right. My bitches are badder. Right. <laughs> we, but we. But this is what I'm saying. But without this, without that, we don't move forward. Without what? We plateau. Without these conflicts. Without right. someone yeah, to pull the so, so, so this is why I said it's a thin line. This is why I said it's a thin line. We yeah, get yeah. mad at the Chicago niggas for killing each other because they feel disrespected by the lyrics and the songs and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, it's a thin line. We want the competition, but we, we only want it to go this far. Yeah. Right before because violence. It doesn't, because That's it doesn't a hard have thing to, to go do. Any yeah, because yeah, now you can't egos that. are involved is yeah, what I'm saying. You understand? If you're an egotistical dude and somebody says, yo, fuck you, I'm nicer than you. It's only so many times you can say that before you get pissed off and be like, you know, when I see this, fuck this nigga. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It ain't games no more. He mm. been saying that too much. Mm. It was jokes at first, but now no, it's serious. It's, now it's real. You understand? So, and so that's what, what I think happened with Royce and Lupe. Mm. Understandable. But there are two people who are huge fans of battle rap. And this is something battle rappers do all day.
Uh, but y'all know how to control. It's like a superpower. Y'all know how to control your superpower. Or like, matter of fact, like boxes. Boxes could beat the shit out of each other all fight. At the end of the fight, they hugging it out. Yo, good fight. Yo, yeah. those dudes on the because street. Because we're using the skill. Other, they running for the gun after that. You understand and, and what I'm saying think, to you? And I think this. I think this is what it is. I think with boxes, I'm trained to fight. Right. It's nothing personal. If I'm if my emotions get wrapped up in this, I'm gonna I lose. lose. Right. I lose. Right. Rappers need to start thinking about that too. I jumped on a live with Royce and I was like, he was talking about breaking people down. I was, I was watching that. that. I was like, yo, bro, <laughs> nobody wants that. We want mm. you to rap. Like right. all these years, you talking about you kill MCs, you got MC to kill now. Like, go right. kill him. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want to hear all this extra shit. We don't want that. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. But I feel like this competition propels everything forward. Mm -hmm. And the more attention we have on this. But it's hard to say. When you stop, it's hard to say, all right, cool. It's been a good battle, my nigga. Even yeah, though exactly. you said all types of crazy you know shit. A lot yeah, of niggas don't know how to do that is what I'm saying to you. Yeah, but You're trained for that. Up, but there's but, always going to be those dudes. There's, there's, there's never going to be a, a time when you get away from those dudes. Those, what, those what do you weak mean, like, dudes, ego-driven. But what, let's acknowledge it as way. it is. You said but, weak. Right. Right. Weak. That's, that's a weakness. That's a weakness. If your ego, ego drives you to weakness. do something like that where you can't take the fact that my father used to always push to me competition without malice. I'm a, competition like that. without I like that. malice. Right. I can compete against you all day. Of course. And never hate you a day in my life. Of course. But because you're one of the best, I want this. Right. Shit, let, let's see what you fucking made of. Show me. Show me what right. you got. Right. You notice that's what y'all do with your intellect. But that's that's yeah. why this is my it's man. Good. Like, yeah, that's, that's why that's my man. Like, that's like but I I want the smoke from somebody <laughs> that's right. like fucking oh, top right. notch. You gotta right. be. I don't I don't I don't debate with casuals, bro. Uh, he keeps. Mm. I the only debate is crazy. with connoisseurs. <laughs> I only debate with people who are at. Show me something. So how many mm. tubbing when it killed you, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> that's, good. that's good to know. That's the, yeah. the moral of the story. <laughs> we, 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 we got out of there we, That's we, the moral of the story. Out. I wouldn't be dead by but Gary at, the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you have to have malice in order to compete with somebody, that's your own personal look, weakness. Yeah, look, I, I always but, say this, right? Uh -huh. not, anger is necessary. Whether people love it or not, anger is necessary. It's how you use that anger. Right. That's the problem. Any, any you understand? Emotion, my, emotion my, is a, it's like a boost. It's like a, a, a nitrogen boost. Right. Mm. My career, it's just what you use it for. My mm. career is built off of anger. Me making five to ten beats a day when I was younger was off of anger. What people said to me. Mm. Yo, you should sound like this. You should sound like mm. that. It'll never do this. It'll never do that. It was anger, but I learned how to use that shit the right way. A lot of niggas are just angry for nothing. And then mm -hmm. they, they start fucking other niggas up, shooting this nigga, smacking this bitch, doing all types of crazy right. shit because they're angry. You and they don't know how to fixed. and they don't know how to use that. So what yeah. I'm saying to you Who's is don't abandon fixed? anger. No, anger is a no, good no. thing. Don't Just abandon it, it, but let's let's set an example. Yeah. Right. Let's start setting here's, an here's example. Here's how you here's how you talk, here's how you use that. Yeah. But it goes back so to hip hop in a negative narrative, man. <laughs> and that's all I want because yeah. it seems like I don't know it seems like no no, no. hip hop no. is a reflection of the people it always has been it always will be there are good and bad people there are positive and negative people always has been always will be the, Steven from Django had a bunch of children there are a bunch of motherfuckers running around here who should not be in certain ciphers it always has been always will be Jesus had Judas always has been always will be when you look at hip hop and we look at the Judas and we look at the negative and we say, this is all encompassing. And we skip over everybody who's not doing that. Mm. But, 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 but that's human nature to an extent. When you're walking down Union Square and you see two people stop and start fighting with each other, fist fight, what do you do? You stop and watch. But somebody could be sitting there playing like the illest music or telling a joke, you keep it pushing. We all gravitate towards it. It's a it's a reflex. It depends on your perspective, man. But you can man. stop it. You can right. you can. St it doesn't have to be the but thing. But here's do. the thing. So they thought they they have the fist fight, and then they stop, and they hug it out. Hug it out. It's like ah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But somebody walks away with that's possible now. 
Mm. You feel yeah, me? I agree with that. There's different battles that's been an example of that. There's different situations that's been an example. And I think the culture is can actually mold that into the situation depending on how things push We can forward. absolutely right. have that. We can now, absolutely have that. Speaking of, of battles that have done that, probably the biggest battle in hip hop history, Jay-Z and Nas. Um, we see this versus thing going on. Right. And I feel like this is this is a reintroduction of 90s, 2000 hip hop. And it's going to be a resurgence. I agree with that. That's just not going to, it's, it's not only going to be Griselda now. Right. There's going to be a lot of that coming back. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, that, that the blood, the heart is pumping for this now. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, man, that mm -hmm. I wanted to Jada ask you. Jada Kiss's attention. When you were in those battles that you ended up getting in the fights in, right? Right. Mm -hmm. What was going through your brain before it happened? Like, what triggered Everybody what? Everybody likes to know this. No, because you know, because I, <laughs> like, I, I watch battle raps when I see certain shit, I'm like, what set them off? What was it? Like, yeah, like, what was it something said, like, either battle? Like, you had three, right? Three fights? Three different fights on camera? How was many it? was you at? It's been three. He's a shit. Had, you had how many? He's a shit. How had, many was you at? It hasn't been more than three? No fights. No, I don't think it's been. It's, it's think been it's three, three, right? I don't think it's been more than three. Wasn't fights. all three documented on camera? Nah, nah. Was it more than was, two? Was, niggas, couple, you fight that battle. There's a couple other like things that was going on. But, but as far as like battles, yeah. like, um, if, if you were asking about the, the dose situation, I'm uptown. I'm with my people. I don't know, I don't know these people around. Right. I'm just asking for respect. I asked that man before he started not to do that and he did it anyway and he started to peel his vest off like he was gonna fight me you just beat him to the punch second time um and i answered this yesterday it was crazy um sirius jones i spent the whole summer in miami looking for my daughter right when i came back to do that battle i was not in the right mind state needless to say i didn't find her Right. So I wasn't in the right mind state to do anything. Right. And whatever he did, I was already a, 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 a full glass of water. And he was just the extra drop to set it off. And that was that. So sometimes life, life things yeah, does yeah. have something to do with Compounded it. Compounded with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it was never about, you know. Those are the two I really that. wanted to know about because it was kind of, it seemed like it came out of. The, the Sirius Jones one just seemed like it came out of nowhere when I was right. watching. I'm like, I wonder what set him off. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, As I I'm watching this shit, I wasn't I'm like, in the right was... headspace. I get I it. I get it. But but it was but it was great lessons for me. Huh? You, when you came to realize that you fucked up, fuck. And God said, oh shit. That was there for that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was there for that one. But you know, it's it's the bounce back. It's the things that you learn from, and and then so you have know you when a, we have finally you made amends with all these people. Of course, okay. of course. I think us shaking hands has more views than the actual rematch battle. Who's that? that you, you and me and Jones. Okay. Me and Jones. We shook hands and laughed outside and all that. The culture loved it. They loved that shit. That's fire. Which. Adds to the point. Right. Just like, <laughs> just like Jay-Z, Nas, on stage, right. shaking hands, everybody loved it. Who wins in a versus, though? With who? Nas and Jay-Z. What kind? You serious? Nas and Jay-Z. You don't mean that. Jay -Z. You, don't mean that. you forgot Jay's you forgot Jay's catalog? Nas. Nah, you don't mean that. I love Nas, but Jay, come on. Jay's catalog is too crazy. You know what you're saying right now? I yeah, said the same thing about yeah, Dipset. Dipset ain't have more hits than Blocks, though. Why would you say that? That's like, the, that, I'm, the, listen. I'm a Bronx nigga. No, I'm, I'm a, no Bronx. listen. Bugging, bro. I'm a Bronx nigga too, listen, man. I'm to listen. You bugging, bro. I'm listen, telling you, Dipset listen, got more hits Dipset than Dipset. Dipset got more hits. Lots bro. have lots have more memorable as records. We're, we're talking about. As a single or as a group? But they could they could play either one. That's what that's why it didn't matter. Either one, bro. Either one, they win. Yeah, but they've been a group for like 20-something years. You, you got to... talk about how good they are. No, no, no. I'm not they saying... They are a group. No, what I'm saying is they have more memorable records, but more hit records as far as like... The dips. In that time frame. In that time frame was Dipset. Period. In that time frame. Period. 
period. Don't matter. No, group or not group. Now the locks got a lot of fucking hits, man. Let's <laughs> not. Let's do, not look, even. Look, do, let's do not do yourself even. a favor and just just look up um who has bigger records. That's it. Yeah, bugging like streetwise. Y'all in a battle. The locks always gonna win because the energy is different. No, 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 no. Let me tell you all the things that fucked up that night. Like I said before. If That's the sound valid. quality was different, it would have been different. If, if if Dipset would have rehearsed and really rehearsed for like two weeks and put a show together, it would have been way different. Mm -hmm. If the song selection was different, it would have been way different. If the song arrangements was different, it would have been way you different. You had to be a group to get all of that in sync, bro. No, you're right. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Listen, I'm agreeing with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm agreeing yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Cocky yeah. fighter that come into a fight that yeah. had too much arrogance. Yeah, yeah. You could beat that person. Yeah. But because you used a little bit too much arrogance yeah. and you came in cocky, yep. they beat you. Yep. You see that every day. Some of the preparation, that some of the preparation, that right. was, some of the okay. preparation wasn't there. So word, what word, happens word. between Hove and Nas? Hove. 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 Now these are both, yeah. both, yeah. both of them are prepared. <laughs> both of them are sharp, <laughs> top of their game mentally. So it's going to be deeper than that. Hove got records that... Bring you back to a time and place, and like when I hear certain shit, I'm like, oh, shit, I was in college. Oh, shit, I was in Nas this. Oh, shit, I now nah, Nas does too, but Jay has so many. There's too many. Nas does too. Bro. Not like not. He does, but when not I eat like the place, that. Be a problem though. That's a cool. Fact. Yeah, I mean, I hear that. That's gonna be a real problem. You gotta say eat the for last. Nah. Oh, man, this is I said they get those out the gate early. I, I, I doubt they play those. I don't even think they play those. Yeah, they don't. They I think because it gets too disrespectful if they do that. I don't yeah. think they play those. Hove is a lifestyle. Hove is a lifestyle. I don't even think. I don't even think. I don't even think. Battle rap and the actual going into the actual battle. Look, Swiss and it's Swiss different. and Timberland. That has to be their next move. How much bigger does it get than yeah, what yeah, you just exactly, did? Exactly. Right. You have to go for like a Dr. Dre and fucking exactly. Pharrell right. or yeah. like a. You know what I mean? What about you versus Just Blaze? Who, who, I'm only doing 10 rounds though. I'm only doing 10 <laughs> rounds. You got the rounds. I'm not, no, listen. You got the rounds. I'm ready. Come on. Because look, I'm going to go on. Come on. You got the rounds. I'm ready. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm scrolling. I'm looking through stuff. And I saw look you in the interview. They didn't have that much views, but I was clicking on everything. And you said, man, give me 10 rounds. Nobody's beating me. 10? Hmm. 10 rounds. With the shit that I know verses on now, a million percent. Nobody. Because a lot of niggas don't know my full catalog. Niggas know Dipset shit. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. they'd, be, they'd be surprised that night. Trust me. But nobody. nobody. And I'm not saying in my category. I'm not talking about the Scott Storches and the Dre. I'm talking about right. niggas in my category. The those niggas. Like it'll who? be a hard. It'll be a hard fight. Alchemist. He's in my category. So Ninth you, Wonders in my category. Um, about just Blaze. Well, Just Blaze is a, but just for ten rounds. Just Blaze is in my category. Yeah, mm. ten rounds. We talking about ten, ten songs. So I've been, ninth, I've been in the music business just, for twenty years with ten songs. Alchemist. I got ten songs. I got ten great songs. What you said? Yeah, have it. Listen, nah. listen, yeah. listen. This is what I'm telling you, and this. Can't put that. My <laughs> listen, my level is no disrespect yeah. to homeboy. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Don't mention us in the same category. We different levels. My levels, he learned from me. You understand? I don't right. know, but he learned from he watched my shit and said, This is what I gotta do. Right. We not in the same category. You understand? Like mm. when niggas say he that, I'm this. like, he like, I'm he like, he like, like, like how's he what is he gonna do with me? Mm. That's a fact. That's, you can say you can look, I look right next. What would he do with me? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, listen, no, 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 no. I, I, this is, I'm this being real with you. you. Is, name, is, name me some of his records. Oh God. That moved Jesus you. Christ. That moved you. Name me some of his records. Energy. What is happening here? <laughs> 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 no, 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 listen. The reason why no, the reason why I say that is I'm the type of person where I've been in the game so long now that it's almost yeah. like don't mention me with certain people that didn't put in the work I put put in already. Yeah. Right. I got 20 years in this shit. That's a long fucking time. From my mother's right. basement to fucking Madison Square. It's and been a long levels. fucking time. All right. All right. All right. That's, just, that's real though. You gotta clap for that. You understand you gotta clap for that. So when niggas say like, yo, mm. what would you do with A-Rap? Like, come on, man. 
I got over 20 something million records sold. You know exactly who, who what I did. Who would be the top? I, like I, like, I, like, I, like, I like the energy. I like the energy. I like the energy. I like the energy. I don't even want to stop him. I'm just, I'm just quiet. I just have it going. Just Blaze. Havoc is my man. Havoc, I think ha- well, Havoc. Well, Havoc and Just would probably be the toughest outs, I think. Mm. Just because of the. The magnitude of records that they yeah, they that they've done. Down, I'm right. not I, I'm not short an alchemist. He's dope too. Right. But what I'm saying is, for me, that would be a that would be like a that would be a war. Just Blaze and and um, Rottweiler. Those oh. would be the two that I that like. If you was to pick, I would flip a coin to see. I think Ninth Wonder would, would be a good battle for me. Who? Mm, Ninth Wonder. I think yeah, that would yeah. be a competitive good battle. Mm, I can see that. Competitive. You know what I'm saying? Who win? Like, huh? I win. Oh, what? I win, nigga. I'm never gonna say I'm a loser. You're not blowing it in, nigga. You're not blowing it in. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, look, I'm keeping it real. I'm saying, I don't. I think 10 rounds for me is cap. As far as is the is the limit. I don't want to say cap. Is the limit. Right. 20 is like I would. It would be overkill for me with 20. I got a bunch of records, but I'm talking about notable records. 10, off rip. Off rip. I think you and knife. Could go more than ten. We could. People want to oh, hear yeah, like the could. street yeah. bangers and all that. That's be, a million that would percent. Tough. That would yeah. be tough. You know I got shit like that. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a given, nigga. I've been oh, in the game for a oh, long fucking oh, time. Why? why th- yeah, th- we, we need to make this happen. We need to make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm right yeah. about yeah. this tomorrow. We definitely need to make I, this happen. I just want an invite. I just want to show right? up. I want to host. <laughs> I and, started I think, it. and I think I that would be it. dope. Yeah. That would be dope for hip hop, just because it's like it wouldn't be no animosity. No, it's just like right. two dudes that love music playing music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Both, that would, that would be yeah, dope. But right. again, I'm never gonna pick myself as a loser. I prepare too hard for shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make it work. I'm mm. not gonna come out of there looking crazy at all. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I prepare for shit like that. What 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 goes into you know, when you're when you're creating a beat, yeah. Like what what's what's the method? What's the what are you looking for? Cause I know you know I need to I gotta get a feeling, man. If I don't get a feeling, none of it makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's just noise. It's fucking white noise if you don't get a feeling. Right. You understand? Like I like making music when I get when I finish, I got goosebumps. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh this shit is fucking crazy. Look at this shit. You understand? Like yeah. that's the type of music I make. I don't make music that's disposable. My shit lasts. You know what I mean? Like, my mm. shit lasts for years. <laughs> Diplomatic Community came out 2003, nigga. You saw what that shit did to the garden the other day yeah, on Dips and Anthem. Yeah, fact. You know what I mean? Like, I, I try to make shit that's going to last. Other than that, what the fuck are we doing? When you made Dips and Anthem, yeah. hmm, what was... was did you, exactly. Was that like, that I don't was make me. this number three on the, t- on, on, on the CD? Because back then it was like big yeah, CDs and yeah, shit, Yeah, right? but I didn't, I didn't understand what I had. I almost erased the shit. My cousin walked in and told me the shit was fire. That's why I kept it. I thought it was trash because I made like, I made like five beats that day, and to me it was like this is the worst of the batch because my ears were fried. It was like you yeah. know what I mean. I, I was making yeah. music all day. My cousin walked in like, what the fuck is that? I said, you like this shit? He said, nigga, that shit is fucking crazy, nigga. So I thank him for keeping that shit. And when you gave it to, oh, did, how did yeah how did oh, it happen? Um, how did it happen? That that because originally at that point. Um, we already had nine tracks on the album right. on Diplomatic Community, but the album wasn't done yet. So I put together like a beat CD. It had the, the beat for Dips and Anthem on there. It had the beat for um, More Than Music on there. So I gave them the CD. They recorded More Than Music first, and Dips and Anthem was like later in the CD. So then they heard it, and Cam was like, what the fuck, you that Bob Marley shit is crazy, nigga? Yeah. And I'm like, I said, you fuck with it? He said, yeah. So they recorded that shit like two nights later, and that was the last song put on Diplomatic Community. Wow. That shit made the album by two days, because wow. it was going to go get pressed two days later. Wow. wow. So that shit just made it, but that shit changed my life, man. That was, record changed my life. Was, this, was there anybody you gave a beat and you had like a weird experience around it? Like, I don't like know if this, I don't know if this nigga maybe, remembers this, yeah. but the first time I ever played beats for Joe Buttons, this nigga sat on the floor Indian style talking to me through a bullhorn. Wow. Yes. <laughs> In Def Jam. I remember wow. Skane was his A&R at the time, and Skane was like, yo, go play Joe Budden some, some music. So, and keep him up. At this point, I never met Joe Budden. This is like 2002, right. 2003, somewhere around there. I, don't, like... I, don't, I never met him. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I go into the office. Keep in mind, there's two couches around. So, I'm like, why is this nigga sitting on so the floor Indian style? Yes. With a bullhorn. With a bullhorn. He's like, yo, go to the next one. 
I like number three, but talking to me this close through a fucking bullhorn. <laughs> so I remember, so I remember coming out the meeting. I remember coming out the meeting and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? With, like, why is this happened? dude doing that? Yeah, yeah, like, is everybody like this in the fucking you music industry? Oh, like, you know, and you're like, yo, son, you don't right. put the ball on there. I just come to realize that he was just like that. Mm. It wasn't everybody in the industry. It was just him. He yeah. was just, I don't know what was going on with him that day. I don't yeah. know. But if you've ever been around, I'm sure you know he sits Indian style. So I'm not lying about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure he remembers the bullhorn shit if you reminded him. He has to. Mm. But yeah, that was a, that was a weird. Did, so did, was, he, did he use any of them? No. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> How long did it take you to like, hook up a beat? Huh? 15, 20 minutes. Wow. He could, they, niggas could have tested that to be around me. I don't. Wow. Yeah. That's my shit don't take too much time. I'm Ready was made in 15 minutes. Dips and Anthem was made in 15 minutes. Whether it's a hit or whether it's weak, mm. I, don't, I don't keep weak shit. Mm. Not to sound like no, that, but if I think it. it's weak, I'm erasing it. I'm, yeah. not, I'm mm. not saving it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm to the point now where it's like, when I was younger making music, I, I would keep half of what I made because I thought half was garbage. Now, I don't waste nothing. I keep everything because to me, everything, I figured out a formula mm. to make quality shit right you know what i mean it's like it's like my, it's like my ten thousand hours kicked in five years ago mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying who, who was the biggest artist that you played beats for played and beats what for? happened yeah i don't want to get into the story man but <laughs> i did a beat years ago around a diplomatic time and Guru's my man, you know what I'm saying? Went to college, went to college. Guru. Yeah. Yeah. young Guru went to college yeah. together. I know this story. And I used to leave, you know, like, because I always wanted to get on Jay's album, so I would leave beats with, with Guru, like, yo, Guru, if you see Jay, just, you know, so I would do that time and time again. And one right. night, Guru called me, he said, yo, the nigga Jay was about to go to the club. I played him the shit that you had, the niggas recording to it now. Wow. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's, I'm, I'm driving home hype. Wow. So the next morning, I called Guru, I'm like, yo, can I come by the studio to hear the joint? He was like, yo, this Nigga asked me who produced it, man. I see, you know, I said heat makers, and this nigga just told me erase that shit. Cause I think this was around the time that him and Cam and them was they had the whole, you know what I'm saying? And that shit hurt my heart, man. I was like, oh, what the? It just fuck? hurt mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> that shit hurt mine. Yeah, yeah. Damn, Jay. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Story my love. Story my love. Damn. But this was. Damn. Yeah, this was this was this was years ago, man. I don't even know if Guru remembers that shit, but I I remember that shit clear as day because I'm a Jay fan. You know he yeah. didn't erase it, right? He just had another beat done. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> But I'm a Jay fan. Shout so that, to Guru. I'm going to get down to what really happened when you come yeah. on the show. Bro. <laughs> but that shit, that we're going to get down to what really happened. I'm a, I'm, a, like, I'm a Jay fanatic to the point where it's mm. like, that's on my bucket list is to, to work with Jay before it's all said and done right. for me. Right. You know what I mean? That's to like, this day. That, of course. That's yeah. like the top of Mount Everest. That's like every producer's dream, if you're a hip hop producer, it should be to work with somebody like a Jay or a Nas. Right. Mm. Like my bucket list, I want to work with Jay, Nas, and 50. Those are the wow. three artists I got. And Jada. Damn. I've done I've done features with Jada as far as like for other artists, yeah. Yeah. but I want to work on like a project with but Jada. That, but you know that what doesn't saying? complicate like your your other relations because you just named three people that Cam had beef with. No, but mm. they all good now. Remember, Jay came, Cam came out with Jay. They performed. Yeah, that was beautiful. I think Nas and Jay. I doubt they still have. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's a thing. And mm-hmm. then. 50 fucks with everybody as far yeah. as like he's going he going to yeah. talk yeah. crazy about yeah. everybody for a minute yeah. so it's kind of yeah. like that's just him so right. I don't think people take that shit personal that would be insane that would be insane. so that's that's those are my things I want to accomplish those last three things you know what I'm saying like I wanted to work with Ross I got something on this new project coming out so that's that's one off the bucket list so now it's I need you got to join with Ross yeah on this new project that he's putting together that's now hard. yeah personally I'm uh, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Ross. Yeah, he's a beast, man. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's a good a balance of, of, of lyrics and just those one-line statements. And charisma and the way you deliver yeah. those lyrics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Ross Delivery makes every line like, sound like, epic. Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Water fountain in my front yard. Yeah, and niggas yeah, yeah. like, oh, yeah. shit, this nigga got the water fountain in my front yard. Yeah. 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 He's mastered Ross, that. He, 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 yo, he, he could be like the ad-lib man for your life. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you buy a car and he's like, just got some 50. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, yeah, nigga, I did, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Um, it was one other thing that I really wanted to get to. Uh, covered the Jay Nas. Oh, I didn't forget about you, my man. Ancestry.com. <laughs> oh, shit. Ancestry.com. Let me just make sure I'm transitioning right. This is terrible. This is like when battle rappers pull out their phone on stage. <laughs> Have they done that before? Yeah, plenty what? of them. Me? Never. Wait, <laughs> is that allowed? Can you it, do yeah, that? Of course. It's also to, a sign of losing. If you paid $100, to your, if you paid $100 to get in the spot, <laughs> and you wanted to hear those rounds, sometimes you'd allow a dude to just step to the side and be like, OK, that's nigga, where I was at. If I'm yeah. the promoter, I'm paying you to remember your rhymes. Yeah, nigga, that's yeah, like. Yeah. Yo, but you, you got to think about this. is like 9 to 15 minutes of new material that can only be rapped one time in life. Mm. Huh. Right there. So you separate the men from the boys, man. Mm. That's a fact. That's this a is fact. This is, this, back the to the media. Remember that shit? Yeah. Right. 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 We don't let anybody into this battle rap shit that's going to pull out their phones in the middle of like, what are we doing now? Remember yeah. that next time you see somebody performing over the vocal track? To me, to me, I get, I get what you're saying, but to me it's kind of like, it goes back to what you were saying as far as like if somebody paid for this shit, they want, want to hear all the words. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I, so look, I'm partially agreeing with you, but I'm also saying that I understand both sides. Yeah. Mm. See, I understand both sides. I don't excuse both sides. Right. No, mm. I get it. There, there's I get no it. excuse for coming in here lackluster. So, so you automatically <laughs> take points off if you go Completely. to a show and... Completely. Completely. So what about if they have background vocals? You want that either? Like if they TV have like TV track at most. TV track, yeah, that's TV track at most. I'll With the hook it. in there, sure, sure. Yeah. Could be a singing hook. Could be like a really profound hook. Yeah. It might right. be, you know, you may need, need that, that time to need get your that, breath yeah. together. Yeah, the crowd could sing along with that. I ain't mad at that. See, TV track at most. I'm cool with that. Anything after that, you just standard. write them right off. Yeah, it's it's done. You ain't you ain't you ain't you're not serious. Mm. You you here to play around. You're not you're not real. You just want fame. You want to jump on stage and get attention. You're trying to you're trying to get some women. You're trying to be the nicest on your block. I'm not interested in that. Mm. I like that. Standards are way higher than that, bro. Like I'm I'm I, my eyes are on legends. Mm. I look I look for I look for legends. I look for elite level everything. And I don't I don't bend. I don't break. I don't fold. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you just got started. I don't care about, don't hit me with no excuses, no disclaimers, no asterisks, none of that shit. Fuck out of here. I'm not, I'm not trying to hear, I'm only 13. Beat it. Then come back when you're 16. Like, miss, right. me, miss me with all that. The handicaps. Nas, Nas was 19. Lil Wayne was 13. LL Cool J was 16. Right. Miss me with all that. I, yo, you got to give him time. Who told you that? Mm. Who told you I got to give him anything? Mm. He, he needs to come back when he's ready. Right. Mm. And if I tell him he's whack, and that's the end of his career because he can't stand being told that he's whack, that he was never supposed no. to be here. You're in a, Get him you're, the fuck out of here. You're in a powerful if position you, too, though. Like so to like, be. your words mean more. You understand? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So Which is I why think, I'm super no, careful I'm saying, with what I think, I'm saying. Right. Exactly. Because that 13-year-old kid that you say, come back when you're 16, you could have just crumbled him without even knowing. He wasn't here. supposed to be there. I don't, I don't, I don't to be. know. Yo, no, because, no, no, this is why no, I said, no. Look what I'm no, saying. This is what I'm no, saying to you. Let me explain. No, because no, you, you no, said I was motivated yes. by people saying exactly. negative things No, no, but that's me. This is what they, I'm saying. And, and right. they, they all have Not to be there. Not everybody's going to be here. Then they can't fire. be here. Trial by fire. Then they can't be here. This is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. Let's just say a dude meets a chick, the first chick he ever meets in his life. Mm. She does him dirty, mm. right? So now his interaction with future chicks are based off of that. Meanwhile, he's not that type of person. Mm. What I'm saying to you is, if a dude's first interaction with music or cr criticism of music comes from you and it's harsh, it might throw off everything. Look at me. However, bro, you know what he's going to have to deal with? Of course. But ease so him that, into that. that first... Nah, no! No! Yes, I, I don't think so. Why? Listen, Why? listen, when I play with my kids, they got to work hard I, to beat me yes, in anything. Of course. 
I don't care what it is. Do you believe that? I'm not letting do, do, you do, win. Do you, you believe have in the saying? You really beat me. Do you believe in the saying? I don't care what it is. You wrestling, you four, I don't care. Body slam. Boom. I it's over. Look, do you, you believe in the saying? Come back when you can beat me. I am the master. Do you believe in the saying? It's not, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, or not what you say, it's how you say it? Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying, right. you, I'm saying there's, it in there's a way multiple that I ways to critique somebody me. without pushing them off of their pedestal. <laughs> say, say that again? There's multiple ways to critique somebody without shoving them off of their pedestal. And this is where me and you differ. Because I don't they shouldn't be on a pedestal. You earn the pedestal when you come to me. Right. It doesn't and have to be a high no, pedestal. No, it could no, just no, be no. you on you the have first step. No pedestal. You, you on the first step. You on two feet. And if my punch knocks you out, figure it out. Mm. Get up off your ass and learn how to swing. Learn mm. how to duck. Learn it, how to move. It's a rough ride, no bro. Butter. Ain't no it's a rough ride. It is, but I've also been on the side of people, like I said, of people saying, like, yo, your music and sound you like this. Yes, look where but you, look where you I are. know the nights I went through. Let, let me, you understand? Okay. Okay. I know right. the feelings no, 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 of Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. And this is where I'm at with it. You thrived. When somebody shot you down, right? You remember how it felt when that was happening to you, right? Because you were destined to be here, right? You know why I think music sounds so fucked up now? Because we let a, we let a lot of people slide because mm. we coddled them. But who is this imaginary we? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! No, stop. But no, but you see what I'm no, saying? Like, no, no, it's no. not. It's who, not who's me. Who's the judge and jury? In this, in this scenario, right. the imaginary we. Is you. In You're the scenario. one who wants to be nice to this dude who doesn't deserve you being it, nice. It's not that I want you to. You want to critique him in a way where you basically patting his ass no, and sending him on I his way. No, I want to critique him because even though we judge music, music isn't something that we're able to judge. Then he should keep that shit in his house. He can make all the music he wants. No one ever has to hear it. You can enjoy it to the fullest. Look, Turn the, it all the, the way up. The is Dance we, your ass off. The problem your life. is we gave people the credit to be judge and jury over music. When did we do that? When, when, when did when, we give when, certain people this power, certain editors, when those certain, are, certain media when people, those who us, gave these people are, that power? When we earned it. You've never been in a fight. When we you earned understand it. what I'm saying to you? That's right. like boxing commentators that never stepped in the ring. I don't How believe can you in critique them. that? I don't believe no, in them. No, this is what I'm saying, like with you. Have you rapped before? Yes. yes. Yeah. You're like a motherfucker. Yeah. Produce. I'm nicer than no, most I'm saying, of the motherfuckers I have to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is, again, this is you saying this. This is you saying this, right? This is you Ask saying him. it. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Have you but produced before? Hard. No, which is why I don't critique producers. <laughs> but, you, but, but you produce beats. You yeah. critique no. beats. You don't critique beats on no, an album? No, I A and R. But you critique. I, but you I, match, I match this. To him, but you yeah. have I to match that. If you get a batch her. of beats, you have to critique some of them. Right. But unless you're gonna keep all that's, of them. That's me. That's me matching the sound. That when I A and R, my job is to take the artist, check the vision, see what it is you want to do, where you want to go, right? And I find you sounds that match your vision. It's not right. for me to put my vision on you. I find you a sound that matches what you tell me you want to do. Right. And that's how I a and So you have no personal preference of music that you listen Nothing to? Nothing I do is personal. No, what no, I'm saying is no, you get a bunch of beats. What do you listen to? Right. No, yeah. but what, beats. What, what, I say, listen I, to, what I listen to and what I enjoy on my personal time yeah. don't equal my field of critique. I critique that no, shit No, but too. we just want to know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What shit. is it that you uh, want to uh, what, you, what, you want like... Where do you get Who are you listening to? What do you listen to? What's in your What's in your your system at home? Your phone? What's in your what's in your, oh, your, yeah, your, yeah. Your, your, yeah, like what's yeah, that? Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a dude named Dot Demo who I'm real high on right now. Mm -hmm. He's a killer. Uh -huh. A dude named Ohini Savant out of um, ATL. Yeah, he's Savant. a beast. Mm -hmm. A dude named um, Ricky Blue from out of Atlanta. He's, he's uh, nice uh, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's, a, he's a fucking savage. Right. Um, uh, Bishop Lamont from out west. I don't like He sends me some shit. This shit is always like off the fucking chain. Emilio Rojas, I really fuck with. Emilio. I dig the shit he does. He sent me. He 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 did a project with um. Uh, life got in the way. That shit is nuts. Yeah, he stole a beat um, from me one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Busta, of course. I listen yeah. to like you know I, the shit that we working on. I, I right. listen to that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm not in enjoyment mode. I'm in work mode. We got a couple new projects coming from Buster shit, so that that that's my focus, and I'm going through that with a fine tooth comb. So here, so here's my question: A and R in that project, right? Every record that I, I don't know if you approve records or not. I'm not sure how, what capacity. It's a but all right. we argue. 
So <laughs> we don't approve. We the, argue. the records mm-hmm. that you like, they don't hold like a special place to you. Like, yo, this is a special record. That's a special record. Or do you just be like, this sounds cool. It could fly. Like, what's your what's your approach to that as an EP of, of that? Pro- or I don't know if you executive produced it or not. No, but no, 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 no. I I A and R. Um, that's a it's it's an interesting take. I don't. Of course, I have records that I enjoy more than others. Right. But if my record, if the record that I enjoy doesn't fit the overall vision, I never force a square peg into a round hole. You think mm-hmm. what I mean? My personal preference for a record, as much as I may enjoy it. And there were, there are a couple of joints that did not make the the joint that I have in my phone, but I enjoy them that much that, right. you know, I really did. Can you, can you play one of them? Of course not. Okay. Have you, have you seen Buster the dude like you not like, I just took a picture of that. Like, you know this? I think well, it's like a Volkswagen with a shirt on. I like, think I'm not, I'm our not approach this. is different when it comes to like when I was working on El Capo, right? Mm-hmm. I took it home piece by piece. Like certain days we do a record, I'd put it with the other record we did from the day before us, hear how they sound together and be like, all right, cool, that's dope. And start building it like that. But if I didn't I like personally that if I didn't personally I did, like yeah. a record or something like that, it would be a conversation with Jim. Like, yo, Jim, I think we should leave this off because it don't give me that feeling. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. You understand? I mean, not you, but I used to tell that to Jim. I, I, don't, I don't know what feeling it gives you, but for me, it don't give me that feeling. Let's leave it off. Mm-hmm. So anything, anything I wasn't personally attached to, I had, I had a hard time keeping. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? I feel like if I kept the other shit, I would be shorting the people. You understand because so you were I got to a little bit first. See, you were- but th- this, I believe this, what he just summed up is mm-hmm. the difference between executive producer and A&R. Right. 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 As, as the A&R, my goal is to find you the sound that matches your vision. Right. As the no, executive I get that. producer, I get that. his job is to create a vision. He already has a vision. Create right. the vision. Mind, paint the picture. He creates the yeah. vision. Paints the picture and then fills. In you the get landscape. the supplies to paint the picture, and I paint the picture. Exactly. So, so like, exactly. all right, just like in um, yes, for Justice, the most part, yes. Justice League, not the pro- producers, but the actual movie. Um, <laughs> Shout to the DC Justice League released too. a two-hour version that was trash, right? Right. And then there's the Rod Schneider cut, which, which was a million times better. Right. Is there ever like a situation where you guys want to, yo, can I put out my version of your album? I wish. And, um, and I you, wish. you could do what you want, but like a, like a month or two later, I'm going to drop my version I of your album. I, I did, got that in my phone too. I have the original, I have the version of ELE 2 that we, that I put together that I thought track should have been, right. Right. Sequence the whole shit. Right. Like I have that in my phone too, and I walk around bumping it. And um, but see, that's where the personal and professional stop. Mm. This is my personal list. Mm-hmm. This is the professional work, right? But it's professional work. Right. the The album we released was critically acclaimed. The numbers were great. Like the numbers went nuts, and everybody who heard it had something great to say. It was, it's being called Buster's best work. I'm super proud that I was able to be a part of that. And I see right. my handiwork. And right. like this one, this one, this. I did this, I did this. You know, I, I know where I am. I can hear me. I remember the moment when we came up with this idea mm-hmm. and we did this. Right. I, but for me, listening to the album, I also hear the spaces where this other song was supposed to go. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, I... It, it starts feeling long where these other songs ended up. Right. It's a jarring sensation when this song comes in after this one and it wasn't supposed to. So, I mean, mind. is that something that could be negotiated? Like, yo, I want to be able to drop, yeah, drop you, a version nah, of this oh, album that I feel like I it should have went even, this way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. First of all, no, if, wouldn't. If, if there was an album like that for me, it would never have came out. Because I would have argued so much, like, you know what? If we're not gonna do it like this, I don't wanna put this out. Take my work off of it, it's all good. And now the niggas know I'm stubborn. Like, Jim knows I'm a stubborn uh, nigga. Yeah, we've yeah, argued, we've like, yeah, argued nah, all times in the studio as far as like little so, shit. So you like, pull the Debo move, like, nah, son. No, he's being an executive Because, you, because right. you know what it is? Sometimes you right. gotta save the artists from themselves. Mm. Because they'll be in the spur of the moment in the studio, like, yo, do this. And you as the producer, you like, oh, this nigga's bugging, I'm not doing that. 
Like, me and Jim went to Miami. We was working on El Capo at the time. And he wanted me to do something with some record. And he argued and he argued at me. And I'm like, all right, cool. Because in my head, I'm like, I'm mixing album anyway. And I'll just change it back when we get back to New York. It's all good. Right. You know what I mean? Because I already <laughs> yeah. knew what I was going to do. I mean, I'm sure Jim didn't know that. Shout out to Jim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. I just look at it like I'm out for the better good of for both of us, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not mm -hmm. looking at it like this is just a petty ego thing. Nah, it's not that. I know what sounds better in this scenario. Mm -hmm. People don't want to hear what, you, what, you, what, you, what you're trying to do. They, tr they want to hear this, you know what I mean? Like, right. And I don't know if a lot of artists think about it like that. They probably look at it like, fuck it, it sounds good now, let's do it. Mm, they right. don't look at the long play like in 15 years from now, 10 years from now, this is going to sound corny if I do this. Mm -hmm. I look at shit like that because I try to make timeless shit that niggas gonna listen to for the next 10 to 15 years. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So maybe I am petty when it comes to shit like that, but I just want the best music, man, at the, bottom, at, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Executive producer. That's, that's what it's supposed to be. Right. He's, he's making the vision. I'm just trying to match your vision. I'm working with Busta Rhymes. Dude's been famous longer than I've been on, off the porch. And he's been a legend for all that time. Right. right. For me to sit here and tell him what his vision should be is disrespectful. Oh, yeah, you definitely can't do that. Had I caught him, like, maybe in the first... You definitely can't do that. Yeah, like, had I caught him, like, maybe in the first five, four or five years of his career, yeah. then maybe I can paint a picture for him that, you know, we agree on it. But by now... And you did some outstanding shit because a and are becoming extinct. Fast. That's what I hear. Right. So you hear it. That's, that's what I heard. See what's going on around you. These dudes are dropping like flies, man. I don't look around me. <laughs> I don't look around. I've had me. some bad experiences with A and R's. Yeah, cause some of them suck. I feel like the, the a lot of the ones I ran into when I was shopping music had their own agenda. They are more bad than good. They're more bad than you know. I've, I've seen. They're I've heard more A lot of them. The problem is, it's not that whether story. they're bad or good. A lot of them are clueless. And they get thrown into that position and they feel like they have to work at that point. And With they don't know what bad. to do. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm looking for beats for such and such. You play for them, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, that's cool. Let me, um, I'll send them number three and five. Meanwhile, you're like, yo, but number two is perfect for him. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, nah, I really think he's on three and five type of vibe. Meanwhile, the artist never hears number two now. Right. And then they turn down the other two that the A&R picked. Right. So now you're left out in the cold with no records on the album. Meanwhile, number two was perfect. Right. You understand? Like, so A&R sometimes play the, the gatekeeper at the wrong time. Nigga, we don't need you for this scenario. Step aside. Mm. Put me in the studio with the artist. Let's cut out the middleman. Like Jimmy right. Iovine figured it out. Why do we need these niggas? Let me sign producers instead. Right. Let me sign Pharrell. Let me sign... um. What's homeboy's name? Another dude from Black Eyed Peas. Um, well, let me sign Will I Am. Let me sign Timbaland, and let them find their own artists. Mm -hmm. We don't need no fucking A and Rs. Let the producers be the A and Rs of their own project, mm -hmm. right. and that's the solution. This and no disrespect solution? to A and Rs because right. you did your thing on, oh, on no, the Bust I, album. I'm what I'm fine. what I'm just saying is a lot of times, like you're the one A and R that knows shit. A lot of these dudes are clueless. Yeah. Right. They don't know nothing. They can't even tell you the history of the artist that they're a and That's a fact. Mm. The name of his first album. Mm. Some of the tracks on that album. You understand? They can't even tell you that. So no, how are they a and the stuff that used to happen in meetings that used to piss me off. If you think about it now. They're not paying attention. You yeah. playing beats, they on their phone, they looking, yo, go to the next one. Yo, yeah, go to the next one. Yeah, they calling tough. their girl on the phone. Yo, yeah, I'll be home at like six, man. Yeah. Yo, go to the next one. Yeah. And you like... You mean to tell me I sat in front of sat my fucking front. machine yeah. and make mute to make beat after beat after beat for you to act like this? Yeah. Nigga, give me my shit. Nah, there's a lot of occasions I wanted to flip the table. Yeah, of and course. I definitely wanted to flip the table. But it's an executive position making an executive move. Yeah, but they're 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 no, 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 but they're not executive. With the sound they trying the to stay but safe. Yeah. Yeah. Because look, if you make the wrong move and try to get the wrong dude signed and they do sign him and it flops, you're fired. Right? But if you play it safe, Follow their rule, rules, do what they, they say you want to do and all that, you're good. Yeah. But the minute you step out of line, you're fucked. It's yeah, over. I said, think about you know what I mean? Job. Now, what if if you think about this, though, and ours of, like, if you look at how it's morphing or the evolution of the so called modern day AR, right? I have a, a theory that data analysts, he, he, he agrees, I don't know if you agree or disagree, sometimes we have this conversation. Data analysts are people that know how to actually read the data. 
the these so-called and are supposed to read the numbers or whatever. They don't know how to analyze that properly. They can't even make it tell a story. They don't know how to pull a story out of it to make it match what the vision is. Because people are saying, oh, the numbers. But that shit, they've been saying the numbers for the past decade. And if I ask somebody, okay, what did the numbers say to you? Well, we have X amount of streams. Okay, I don't give a fuck about the streams. What is the data saying to you? Mm -hmm. Can you read it, nigga? Mm. You don't know how to read the data. I could go on fucking sound scan and look at the numbers I sold, but what is the story? Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. now we got to extract from the data, read the data. Timmy yeah. in Idaho was 17, played my record for three minutes. Okay. You put out put, a video this yeah, week, your, your yeah, sales went up by yeah. this much. Like certain little shit. The, you know the, what I'm saying? The intricacies mm. of knowing how to be a data analyst will have actually be, will coincide with knowing how to, the AR of the future, right? right. Because technologists slash whatever will be the new AR, whether it's artificial intelligence, machine learning, and people that know how to press XYZ buttons. And plus, the fucked up part about this, the counter side of this, is a lot of A&Rs want to, they look like fucking artists on IG. Yeah. yeah they Whether want to it's be the, in the female mix. or them. I've seen yeah. artists, <laughs> I've seen I fucking think... A&Rs with the, the bags, yeah. the, <laughs> the big ass shades, the fur jackets jumping off the plane, taking pictures. With the, I'm like, are you the fucking artist, the girlfriend, the boy, what the fuck is this? Right. What the fuck is going on, right? right? And I'm not knocking you, get your bag. No, I'm knocking you. Okay, fuck yeah. it, I'm gonna ride with him. Yeah. I'm gonna let him do it, he the editor. Right. I ain't mad, just... if niggas want to make their job look stylish, more no, no, power no, 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 to no. you, nigga. But do the job. But do no, the job. Do exactly. the job. But you could look job. good doing the job. You spent more time cultivating Instagram than you did that boy's album. Like, mm. miss me with that shit. I, no, again, no breaks. Yeah. No breaks. And, do and, the and, job, and it will come a time. Remember this conversation. Mm -hmm. They will be so obsolete because they don't understand the technicalities of what's coming forth. And again, no disrespect wait, wait, to you, hold, hold, but hold, hold, the time hold, hold, is now. I gotta ask. I gotta ask. When you say that, you're gonna be so obsolete. This is what you do. What makes a great... No, no, no. And like, are, the, it, and are not to read the data. Are you needed in this era? Yes. Oh, now you're going to listen. And again, no disrespect to you, but it's probably going to be disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how to say it without sounding disrespectful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And again, no disrespect, my brother. <laughs> A&Rs are not needed now, nigga. I'm but, just be real with you. These motherfuckers are no and no disrespect, my nigga. Right. Did you think? Right. But through my eyes, as a as an active person in the music industry, yeah. mm -hmm. these niggas are really the gate. Just they like blocking the gate mm. the, to the entry. Some of, some of them, right? Some, so, of, them. some of them are. Some yeah, there are some of them, and course. they have their these own intentions. Like yeah. the closest I ever came to getting signed, um, the day before I was supposed to meet the CEO, the A and R gave me a pr production contract and I had to sign to his production. Before he took you to the Yeah, because he wanted to get a piece there. of it. Yeah. And his beats were trash. 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 <laughs> they were bad, bro. They were bad. It didn't make sense to me. And I felt, I felt like it was a fucked up play, so I didn't go through with it. But if you look, if you, if you, do you agree or disagree, right? Because everybody's allegedly supposed to be technology based or so savvy. If they don't know how to read in between the lines, that's where I think AR would be obsolete. ANRs will have to learn how to read the technical part of what they're doing. Because I think I personally believe that. So what's a great AR, bro? Like why 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 you are, are you even needed you gotta, anymore? No, like, no, dude. Is I, there think, I think, I think dude, they're needed. It's their purpose. A hundred percent. Should we just kill all of them? No, Get them no, out no, of but, here. But, but, but it depends on... For, okay, this is easy. This is easy. <laughs> okay. A nigga who knows how to dress doesn't need a stylist. Uh. Right. However, if he wants to call somebody to go get him specific clothes from a specific place... Need it. Stylist. He's needed. Right. Right? Yeah. A, a, a dude who knows how to fix his car doesn't need a mechanic, but if you don't have the time and you can say, hey, I need this done, this done, and this done, and this done, done, right? right? If an artist has a vision and they don't know how to execute it and they don't know where to go to get the things that they need to pull that vision off, right. you should call me. But how do you gain but credentials I, on, on that type of skill? That's going to that's gonna be subjective, and the reason why that runs into so many problems is because you have a lot of artists who don't know how to judge. Mm. They have no idea what a good A&R entails, what his ears need to be capable of doing, and what kind of background he needs to be coming from. I've said a million times in the music business, 
You can have a million dollars. It's not having the money to spend. It's knowing what to buy and who to spend it with. Uh, right. I can, there's, there's tons of people claiming to be a and There's tons of people claiming to be publicists. Uh, all hate, kinds of shit. You go get the, the wrong one, you can blow 100 grand, nothing happens. You go get the right one, five grand, you look like you all over the place. It's knowing who to spend the money with. It's knowing who to go get. Me and Buster was cool since I did the cover story on his album. I mean, for, for a, a previous cover story for the right. songs. We got cool in. But we used to debate hip-hop all the time. And we would argue. And I, you've seen the man. Arguing with him is not for the faint of heart. Right. But we argue like a motherfucker because he sees this, I see this. When it came time to make it his album, the reason why I think he trusted me is because I know his career. Right. I understood what his fan base was looking for from him. And when he said, we're doing ELE 2, okay. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready. All right then. You know what I mean? That's not a, that's not a small thing I think that, to go do. I think that that project was the best rapping I've heard from Buster. Oh, bro, we, 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 have, we have the conversations. Right. I come, you know, bro, what you doing? And Bus is ultra competitive. He only wants to rap with the best. That's why I think me and him get along so well when it comes to that because I don't, I don't do breaks. I don't do you take a bar off here and there. Like, dude, what was that? Nah, you got to fill in and all he, the blanks. He don't play that. Okay. He don't, he'll stop everything, be like, what did, you know, what was this? Where did I go? Right. But I'm dealing with a legacy artist. You dig what I mean? I'm dealing with somebody who knows his shit and who, to this day, takes his shit uber serious. One of the first calls he made to me on some business shit was he asked me, did I have Kendrick Lamar's number? I said, yes. I connected them. They was on the phone. They started chopping it up. I got off the phone. Next thing I know, rigor mortis, the remix comes out with Busta on it. Why did that happen? Because Bust wants to rap, rap with the best, the best ones out. Right. right. And he heard Kendrick tearing shit up and was like, that nigga. And he happened to call me just to see if I had the contact. He did the same thing with Royce. He did the same thing with Royce. I was listening to, a, um, I want to say it was the bar exam. Mm -hmm. It was backstage at a BET joint. Him and Spliff was getting ready to perform. He looks over at me. I'm in the corner making the ugly face. The ugly face, as you do with a Royce joint. Right. Yo, what you listening to? This Royce of 5'9 shit. Shit is nuts. Word? And I looked at him. He had that look on his face like... All right. Remember when Bell... I like that competitive remember shit. Remember when Bell... Yeah. I like that shit. Some people don't understand it. They be like, man, if you a hater, I'm not a hater, nigga. I just nah, want to rock. Know. No, remember in Belly where, where, when Tommy was in the shower and he heard the MTV report about the new heroin coming out? Yeah. He comes back in the shower and you see him going... And he already knows he's going to call the Ox. Buster gets that face when he hears like the new... Dope. He don't care about the trash. And I love that. He don't care about the, not even trash, he don't care about the, the popular dude. Yeah, we're going to change the narrative on trash. Mm, no, I'm never going to change the narrative. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't say that, bro. He don't care about, like, who's popular. Is he nice? Can he rap? Right. Yeah. Okay, get him in here so I can bust his ass. That's his whole shit. Get him in here. He's the most duck versus artist out. Mm. Plenty of people have, like, mm. turned him, like, they ran away. Who? Buster. Who ran? Who ran from both? I think T.I. ran. Oh, you're talking about calling names? I think T.I. ran. I think he was look. I think, honestly, I think T.I. felt like him and Buster were in two different generations. Cate let me, age let me, categories. Let me, yeah, let me, I, think, me, I think that's what, what, me, what bothered T.I. Let, yeah. let me tell you why that's a moot point in my eyes. No, I'm not saying I agree with it. No, I'm no, saying no. I, I know think you're that's not. what the problem is. But just to, just to respond to that, I'll tell yeah. you why that's a moot point in my eyes. Because T.I.'s whole thing was. Tell 50 Cent, he's the king of New York, tell him the king of the South want to get at him. And then he said the magic words. And if it ain't 50, any of them other New York niggas with a catalog, tell them come see the king. Mm. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Buster was like, any of those new? I'll stand up and be counted. If none of these other niggas want it, I'll do it. Now his catalog. You, you calling us out? But for me, I'm right here. For me, and that's then when T.I. said, yo, you can't do nothing past 
when I started. You know what I mean? Like from, from before my, when you started? Yeah, you can't do nothing from before I started. You can't say that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Bro, bro, bro. That's crazy. Buster, Buster said, deal. Deal. You came out when? No problem. From then up, I got you. No problem. But you can't take away, put your hands where my eyes can yeah. see it just because T.I. was, nah, that oh, don't even bro. make sense. That's Bust, not even Bust, fair. But we were ready to go twice. He's like, a tourist, man. I know it, what it yeah. is, man. We just From anybody who wants it before or after, like if this is when you want it, Bust has had a hit in every era. You can't scare me off talking Big shout to my shit. man, Fat Joe. So it's Fat Joe. Fat Joe would be interested in versus. Versus T.I.? Versus whoever, his catalog is fucking retarded, man. Yo, Joe has had a hit that? every year since probably like 2003, yeah. <laughs> 2004. Wow. Nah, I got Joe's had out. Lean Back, Make It Rain, fucking um, All The Way Up. Um, he was on the New York shit with Jade and all that other he's shit. Got the the Ja Rule records. Uh, J Lo, J Lo oh, shit. Yeah. Too, too much shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Joe because got too much shit. Niggas think that Joe got sexy for a little while too, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, 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 yeah, uh, Joe got live my lifestyle. Yeah. Joe, come on, he got joints, man. He got the joint. Him and the shot. Shit, yeah. yeah, he got joints, man. Well, okay. If there was something that you could take from back then and have it right now, as far as like uh, a standard, like the rapping, not over the lyrics, other things that you could bring up to this era, what would it be? A hard question, man. What I bring to this era from back then? What's that's a yeah, that's a, that's a real that's a real good question, man. I would say, I would say the the in person competitive spirit for production anyway, mm-hmm. because the era I'm from, if I wanted to make it on his album, I had to be in a studio with three other producers producers that was playing beats along with me, mm-hmm. and if my shit was trash, I was gonna get trashed on the spot. Like, nah, you gotta leave the studio. Like in Baseline, yeah. they had days where producers came through and it was, you play one, if they don't like it, they kicking you out the studio. So you saw mad producers coming in there, leaving with their head down, like, fuck, uh-huh. man. This thing. But that was beautiful to me. You needed that competition. You needed that accountability. You understand? Meanwhile, you don't want so me wait. talking to rappers the way I do. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, they, so if the beat was trash. They would kick them out. They'd kick them out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? <laughs> no, I that was, no, what I'm it's saying right. is that was right. no, right. look, no, what I'm it's saying right. is nobody put that together. No, what I'm saying is that was no, what I'm it's saying okay. is that yeah. was their house. They made those rules. Right. I walked into their rules. I'm not saying their rules were right to me. I had to live. I had to abide by it. Right. So once you get in there, you know these are the rules. I I got I got to make sure I have my shit together. Right. I just knew that. You know what I'm saying? But you want to bring that era back. I don't, I'm not saying I want to bring that back. You just said. You that just was said. Question. What would you bring up to now? No, I'm saying not that not, it's trash. Get out of here. I mean the competitive spirit. Right. Not the, not, not the way they did it, what oh, they hell. did. Right. You understand? That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the energy of, yo, your shit trash. Get out of here. It's, it's all right, I mean, man. Like, you and Knife One going to have your battle. <laughs> Everybody's going to appreciate it. But then it. it would all be love. You understand? Right, right, like right. I know this man, is a, he's a legend in his own right. Right. So I would give him that respect. Right. I, I would never look down on his work or anybody else's work that's accomplished, right. is what I'm saying. Even if you're not accomplished, I give everybody their space. It is what it is. Any it just things? might not be my thing. Any other things you would bring up to um, the Nah, really just the competitive spirit, man. I think the compar- competitive spirit is it's misunderstood now. People get angry too fast. They ready, to, they ready to fight and do harm to somebody else because of the wrong competitive spirit. Right. The competitive spirit is, is wrong now. It's Competition not. Competition with malice. Yeah. Right, exactly. Malicious. Exactly. Right. It's malicious now. Mm. It wasn't malicious before. Before it was, yo, I gotta get better. Mm. I was in a room with three other niggas that's better than me. I gotta go home and get better. Better, right. It's not like that no more. Now it's like, yo, these niggas is pussy, they trash. Why we, my shit sound better than this. Fuck that. That's what it is now. It wasn't right. like that before, really. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so what you right. say? You say you got toxic. Competition and healthy comp- competition. I think now yeah. because the competition is via internet yeah. and, and not in person, it changes everything. Right. A nigga will talk crazy to you online because you know he'll never see you. Right. It's, it's a different competitive spirit. A lot of these niggas wouldn't compete with you in person because they're nervous to do that. Right. You understand? They can't handle like, that. And that's how yeah. I feel about like Lux Goods, a, couple, a lot of battle rappers I feel that way. Like they wouldn't say like you don't want to stand in front of me. 
Mm. You know what it is. Wow. You'll so downplay it. Like You'll it. downplay it. Right. Like to 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 an interviewer or whatever. I mean, nigga, but you know what you, it is. You fought multiple niggas in the battle arena. I can but that, understand but that's not that, it. nigga. <laughs> but that's not highly <laughs> but, <laughs> but those punches. You're unstable, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 these niggas know that. Throughout the years, the punches haven't hurt more than some of the words that I said to people. I agree with that. I agree with that. There's some battlers that haven't come back. They you feel rather me? get punched in battle. They rather get punched than but battle. But don't doesn't I'm, every battle rapper you think a like bit. you know what I mean? Like the niggas that you're saying this about, don't they think that they might have won? Who? Like the battle rappers you're talking about that you've destroyed mm. verbally. No. Don't they think they might have won on their they, side? They'll try to sell it, but no. Because I've never met a battle rapper that said I lost. I've never heard that. Like I've never I've never no, spoken. I, I, I admit to some of my losses, but so you think you've lost before? But I've never lost. Walking in there prepared. Who do you ready. think you've lost to? Uh, definitely lost to Calico. Calico, some of my daughter disappeared. Definitely lost to T Top <laughs> the day my daughter was born. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it's always something personal around it. But yeah. every battle I walked in there prepared. fully prepared, oh no, you die. Goodbye. Have a nice one. You know what I mean? I respect the fact that you even picked out the ones that you thought you lost. Yeah. Cause I've never heard a battle rapper say that to me before. It would be like, I, I 3 old this nigga. I smoked him. I'm like, damn, yeah. everybody, nigga? You beat everybody? Right. <laughs> who, who, who said that? Who said that? We'll talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Cassidy. You know, Space said Cassidy. Cassidy said Cassidy. <laughs> Shout out Cassidy, man, but nah, not not Cassidy, day. but I'm sure Cassidy would say that. He's the more, one of the most confident yeah, niggas ever met in my life. Definitely. Mm. Nah, probably 9,000 and old, nigga. <laughs> now, now I wanna, on, a, on a serious note, um, the baby has been in some, some issues recently because of some, what I would call pro-heterosexual statements huh. that come across as Sexist. homophobic. Um, and we were talking about sensitivity. Everybody's so sensitive now. Yeah. Do you feel like, uh, in a way, the LGBTQ Q plus, plus, plus yeah. community is kind of bullying hip hop? Nobody they, wants to let talk me about tell you, it. Let me tell you what they're doing. They're doing what they're supposed to do, they stand in their ground. Right. And they fucking with anybody that challenges that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, that's what they're doing. Whether it's right or wrong, that's what they're doing. If somebody says something, they're attacking. To, to make everybody else know, don't say that shit. Don't say anything close to that shit. Right. You understand? And, like, whether they're right or wrong, they, they're in unison. It's effective. And they're standing it's together. And it, right, and it yeah. is effective. They're making niggas apologize that said they would never apologize. Right. Mm. But do you feel like hip-hop is being targeted? No. I just hip hop is so popular. Not more than anything else. Right, hip hop is so popular. Not more than anything else. I, I think yeah. I think I'm agreeing. I agree. I think they pull those guns on anybody who want it. Play that like game, anybody man. who get right. close. And we're dealing with a popular music form. Mm -hmm. Right. Rap is super popular. So the most it, popular. Right. Anything that's said is going to be magnified. So by the baby doing that is magnified. He's a huge artist. Mm -hmm. He was on a huge stage at the time. What was it? Rolling Loud. Yeah. Right, so all of that combined, it makes for what we see now, chaos. Right. You know what I'm saying? But but, do, but I, I get the feeling that... I don't that think they're picking on You that. think they attack rappers? Just, I no, feel no, like I rappers are, are, are feeling attacked. Well, I they're think... They're feeling I, like I can't... Like, freedom okay, of speech is gone? All right, we, we, there's a gay pride day. Celebrate it. Wonderful. But there's no straight pride day. You know what I'm saying? There's no... That's every day. So, <laughs> so why is it you can celebrate that but I can't celebrate not, you know, being we, what I am. But we do. We do, though. Like, in hip-hop, we, we talk about part of my French fucking bitches all the time. Right. Like, we celebrate being straight constantly, right. all the time. Again, I'm with... I, I, I'm with Austin. Like, they, they, they will pull that... But we don't get on. a parade for it. 
Uh, yeah, sure you do. It's every other parade. <laughs> it's the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It's, it's, it's a Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's, 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 it's definitely it's, the Puerto Rican it's, Day Parade. Shout out to all my Puerto Rican Riggins. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's every other parade where, where yeah. you know, the women are scantily clad and the men are clapping. Like, it's every other. And again, I can't say anything different. Like, I think anybody can get it. I think if a comedian steps too far out of line, they'll get it from them too. I think if it's a commercial that's a little, they don't, they don't like it. They'll get it too. Like they aim that. They they're not discriminatory of where they point that gun. It's just that we are a huge target because we're super. They got to learn how to deal with words, man. That's yeah. the problem. Mm. Like at the end of the day, like if you want to bring it back to not to go in reverse, but like racism, right. right? Right. People have said negative shit about black people for years. Right. If we let that bother us every time, you know, you know how far back we would be set. You understand? Like, right. so the LGBTQ plus community, they got to learn how to deal with words. This shit is words. But you, know, right. you, you understand? Know that the black people that was in power when racism was being spoke of, when it was the greatness, is not as strong as the, the other people that's in power right now. Because, because that's not a, that's, no, that's not, that's not a community where it's one color on a paintbrush. <laughs> The mixed community. Yeah, that's race. exactly what it is. You know them niggas different it's, it's all different walks of life. Yeah, they, Chinese, yeah, black, yeah, white, yeah. female, male. Community. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and they got one Same common thing. goal. They got, they got a they got a common. They got a yeah. they got one thing in common, and they got a common goal. Mm -hmm. And when we start talking yeah. unity. Hands down. That's the same thing with any group. Any group could take that position. Right. Those great people could take that position. People of righteousness could take that position. A million position. percent. Any group could take that position. That group happened to take that position and stick together, and other groups are being intimidated by it for whatever reason, because that group might happen to have people that are in positions that connect them to the so-called bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. People don't want to compromise this so-called bad. We, should, we should watch and learn. Yeah. yeah. Because I've, I've, watch I've had people on the show that um, when certain topics come up um, and somebody takes a strong approach towards it, like I've had to... Like, look, I'm, J shows. I'm Jamaican, so I grew up like... Huh. Like, gayness in the Jamaican community when I was growing up right. was like... Wasn't it was insane, my nigga? Trust right. me. Like, right. if something gay on TV came on, like back in the day, my father switched the channel quick and be tight. Mm. Like, yo, what the fuck? Type, you know what I mean? Like tight. Right. And I couldn't understand it when I was young. I'm like, why is he so mad? Like he ain't gay. Why the fuck he so mad? Right. But it's the culture he grew up in. Like in Jamaica, that wasn't stood for at all. Like niggas right. would get stoned and and they like, had, it was they crazy. Had hit records about. Bye -bye. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah, they Get got censored too. They got they got no censored after a while. Right. Reggae on the radio. Yeah, yeah. The reason why there's no more reggae on the radio is for that reason. Mm. But the point that I'm making is I had to learn how to get out of that train of thought growing up. You understand? Because right. I know gay niggas, cool gay niggas, chicks. It don't matter. I don't care about none of that shit. If it don't bother me, I don't care. Right. Y'all niggas can do whatever you want to do. I can still be cool with y'all niggas. It's all good. Right. But the generation before me, my father, shit, they, they couldn't do that. Yeah. Right. Because they already had a stigma in their brain of it ain't this ain't right. This ain't the godly way. God, God ain't for this. You understand? Right. Like, so you kind of just got to know this is a different day and age. We can't think like that no more. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of the gay community think we do all still think like that. I could care less. I mean, I, I if get, you a good person, you a good person. I don't care what you look I, like, I what your race is. It don't matter. I understand the enthusiasm behind them and why. Because I remember the days when, you know, if there was a kid that was a little, you know, his wrist was a little loose in school, you know, people used to beat him up. And make them feel away, or the, or you know, we, we we became teenagers, and these type of guys would walk through the neighborhood, and you know, somebody which wouldn't like it. And when they you just think about it, which is fucking face. stupid. You know that's saying? like that's like when niggas used to order shit from the takeout nigga and fuck up the delivery man. Like why? It's like stupid it's shit that stupid we look shit. back on now as adults. Like yo, why did niggas do that right. when we was growing up? But, that's but understand dumb. Why now, did you think but, it was funny? No, I, of why course. Would you, why would you? Why would you entertain? Bobby? You you want? Do question. you want to? You want the deep answer? 
as far as us being taught violence. No, I want to get something and to eat having soon, to deal so. with that. I want to get something to eat soon. So <laughs> all, right, cool. keep this, keep all right, cool. So we 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 can resume another. Yo, this has been a great episode. Facts. Great episode, um, Mr. Mecca. Sir. Appreciate you. You can let um artists know where they can find you to have their green dreams crushed. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mecca aka the green the dream <laughs> crusher. <laughs> the dream crusher. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> dream, come, to, come over to Dream Crusher Records. You tired of the sun? You thinking you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Mac on all platforms. M R M E C C. That's it, Mr. Thank Mac. Uh, Quan, what you got going on right now? At Hip Hop Movie on all platforms. You're not gonna talk about the. Not talking about the money. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We got, we got a DVD episode coming up. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be crazy. Shout out to my man Fabio, Team Hami in the building. Sean Bigger, Rest you already know what it is. Rest in peace, PH. Do um, you have a project coming up, sir? Uh, actually, yeah, we just did a, um, I just did a, um, it's like a, I wouldn't even call it a mixtape album. I just, with Pete, we uh, did a joint called 21 Grams, mm. uh, Worth This Weight and Soul. Uh, mm. And then we did a, um, the album we completed. It's called Dope Boy Soul, um, the date to TBA. Um, but, 21 grams is out now. 21 um, grams, dope boy soul. 21 grams is the is the first project. It's called Worth. It. Yeah, it's out now. So totally produced by Pete Rock. You mm -hmm. know, signed the True Soul Records. Shout out to Pete Rock, man. Um, I love to get him in the shop too. Another really, yard yeah. man, you, Pete Rock. You guys Shout out to back. Pete Rock. Yeah. Jamaica in the boy, building. <laughs> Jamaica in the building. building. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely Jamaica. Oh, man, yes, uh. I. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I got a project with Currency coming out. I got Fire. a... Um, oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, dope. I got dope. a... I can't uh, wait for that. Dope. Me and Raw, I told you I got to join a Raw's album. Uh, me and 2 Chains. Me and uh, me and my homeboy OT The Real got a project out called, called The Irishman that's been out. Um, me and Cam, I got four or five records on Camdemic that's about to come out. Camdemic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, me and Jim always working, so that's a given, but... Yeah. um. Other than that, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just working, man. Right, cool. working. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yo, beautiful episode. We out, man. Half. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard. Told Jim I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with the Now I'm proud that you